tell you guys. <laughs> Mike, you late. Everybody is kung fu fighting. Hey, man. This is lightning. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up hey, how you guys doing, man? Welcome to another edition of Friday Night Madness. All right, the mad scientist, Mad Mike, aka. Mad scientist, aka your worst motherfucking nightmare. All right, who is the guy? No, 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 no. All right, we're gonna go to the 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 wicked witch of the the West. All right, the wicked witch of the West, Mrs. Maggie T. Is that your name? You know, I don't even like that. <laughs> that ain't no witch. I'm an angel. I'm an angel. Uh, angel. Okay, everybody, everybody in the in the chat, do you think? Miss Maggie is an angel or a witch? Which one do you think? I want to know. <laughs> she, she's neither. She's anime. <laughs> anime. <laughs> you know anime. What? Anyway, I am Miss Maggie T. If y'all, in case y'all don't know me, people, and I'm rhyming today. What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to hey. AFN. <laughs> and she said she could be both. You know what ATL? I ain't got time for ATL. That guy. Who that guy? Who you be? Who you be, Mister D? What anime? No, this one. Oh, you? Because I already said they said I'm both. Oh, oh, oh! She's she's neither. She did anime. Them either. Me so. You already know how that goes. <laughs> hey, thank you, uh, you know what? Thank you, Nathan. Nathan, you know you. you oh, oh, I, got, I got, I got, I got, I got um a, a special guest. Um, he rocking the eighty four right now. Um, you guys have probably seen him around. I'm sure you you seen him. But yeah, I know who he is. Let me put him on. Put him on the screen. One of my closest. Road dogs, all right. Drum roll, please. What's up? What's up? What's up? Who's in the house? Who are you, bro? Who are you? Who you be? Hey, man, y'all know who I am. I'm Mr. Smitty. Y'all know how I do it, man. Y'all know how I get down. Hey, like I tell y'all, yeah, a lot of y'all don't know. I'm a comedian in my spare time, man. <laughs> well, this is the perfect show. This oh, is Friday no, Night Madness. We cut up on Friday Night Madness, so this is the place where you can, you know, let your hair down. You ain't got no hair, but let your hair on down and bald. get on. <laughs> bald. <laughs> hey, 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 you better tell her bald, bald technically is hair. It just, not, you just, just transparent. Yep. Right. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. For folks that know who Smitty is, you already know. Go ahead and follow him on his channel. You already know. Um, but we had to invite the Smitty Sports Machine up on here on Atlanta Falcons Nation. What's up? What's up? What, what's good? Let's get this thing going, man. Yeah, we're right, getting ready to right. get into it. Um, I kind of want to start it off with um, who we picked up. Tight end Parker mm -hmm. Hayes or Heisey or how you say his name. And Sam Jones. Yes. Yes, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Okay, I said it right on my video. Good. Um, so of course he's in competition with um Hayden Hurts. Everybody and everybody. <laughs> um, <Pretty much. laughs> you know, these two individuals was on practice squads and right make the main roster. So this probably most likely just is what it is. We just have to fill that 90 90 man roster. So, you know, what are your opinions mm -hmm. on that? If, if y'all have any on those picks. Probably not much you can say about it. Yeah, it ain't much you can really say about him. Just he's just another tight end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just another tight end. We got like, I don't know how many ten tight ends got, on the roster. We I got, got no seven idea. tight ends on the roster right now. Woo! Seven. Boy, boy, boy. Yeah, I think <laughs> he actually. I think he actually. If y'all remember those classmates that used to come in and do all the tutoring, that's what he's gonna be doing. He knows Arthur oh, Smith's right. system because he was on the practice squad mm -hmm. and he played in that system, so he knows it very well. So he's just going to be like a tutor to the yeah. office. He's going to get paid to do that. 
Oh yeah, absolutely, oh. absolutely. And they're not, they're not they're making smart decisions. I can I can say at least you know it might not make sense to us because we want them flashy guys, but it's 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 the smart thing because we pretty much don't got a lot of cap to run around with right now. So <laughs> you got to fill in what you can fit in at this point. So hey, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So um, I ain't no way I was going with the Ross, you know, the roll or whatever. I just kind of started off with those two picks. So uh, where y'all want to go with? Mini camp. Hold on. Okay, let me let, hey, hey, I'm about to say, can I start something off right quick? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Shout out this 999 super sticker we just got in here. 999. DJ, what's up? What's up? What's up? Appreciate it, homie. All right. That's my DJ. All right. Oh, okay. I, I just got something I got to get off my chest. Um. I want to ask y'all a question. How long has it been since the draft just happened? It's been about two weeks, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, two I see weeks. where you're going. I forgot about, about it. Two oh, weeks. man. Why in the hell am I looking at my timeline and I'm still seeing people talking about this fourth overall pick? For the love of God. Hey, Mike, we cannot call them Matt Ryan haters no more. They're yeah. not Matt Ryan Hayden no more. The new name for them is going to be Matt Ryan Obsessors. <laughs> <laughs> because for hey, the man. love of God, these Go motherfuckers so off your chest. Get it off your chest. These motherfuckers is so obsessed with Matt Ryan and his failures that it's almost a mental disease. <laughs> <laughs> These goofy motherfuckers is so entitled about a damn player. All I ask them to do is why waste your energy wishing bad on a player or a quote team that you like? Mm. I tell these jackasses, hey, there's 31 other teams. You can go way put your energy into one of them. Trust me, you'll save yourself a whole lot of time. Now, I just wanted to get that off my chest because, like I said, they call you the Matt Ryan lover, we Matt Ryan nights. No, these motherfuckers is obsessed with Matt Ryan. Worse than what we talk about. Because hey, we do like I do, bro. <laughs> do like I do. I say what I got to say one time. Mm-hmm. I leave it alone. There you go. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Trust me, I just wanted to get this off my chest. Okay, now I can woo side now. Because I caught his last <laughs> video about Matt Ryan, and they they sure was uh going in. I don't know if it was Matt Ryan or if it was uh Kyle Pitts, one of them, but they sure was getting Smitty the business. But he wasn't stunning it. <laughs> nah, <laughs> it ain't no reason to argue, man. Once you argue your point, it is valid. That's all you got to say. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. So anytime they call y'all Matt Ryan lovers and all that stuff, the new word for them is not Matt Ryan haters. Because haters look for validation. They're Matt Ryan obsessors. Hey, one thing about it, man, you can't hate the best player in franchise history. Ain't no way in the hell like hey. that. Hey, man, you just said it all, man. Um, I- I'll just say this, and we'll get straight to your thoughts and everybody's thoughts on the on the on the schedule um what games you know intrigue you guys but um just like like, like smitty said man um like we, we came up in this thing for you know we've been in this game thing for a long time it's been about two three years man smitty been uh you know going at it um you know what i'm saying he's taught me something i've taught him a lot um like it, when it all come down smitty like I want you to I want people to know one thing about you when it comes down to your channel. What is your message that you try to convey as far as your channel is concerned? Uh man, when it comes down to my channel, man, I love to talk Atlanta sports, man. I've been an Atlanta sports fan for let me see, I'm 41, so 31 years. Mm-hmm. And when it come when it comes down to Atlanta sports, man, I've been learning Atlanta sports for 31 years. So um, I can go all the way back to the 1980s, 90s. I can talk about now, then, and 
this is why I don't argue with fans because things I know from now and back then, Ooh. I don't know. Oh, absolutely. I, I, if you can survive I, I, those I, years, you you a true fan because they talk about like when, we suck now. <laughs> just like when I put up the when I put up the Andre Bruce post on Twitter. Oh boy, it blew up and people lost their mm-hmm. mind. But for what? I had to deal with that. Y'all, y'all got spoiled what the last 10, 15 years. We're talking about 30 years ago. Jerry Reed was the running back, the only player on the team at the time. Until <laughs> Dion got there. We're talking about mm-hmm. three and 13, four and 12, two and 14. And y'all complaining about an eight and eight record or seven and nine record. Come on, man. Oh, absolutely. Come on. We we was giving away tickets at once, you know. We, we couldn't even barely oh, get them out. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. Man. Forgot about that. Oh yeah, my god! Is. You know what? Man, my so- dad worked at my dad worked at Scottish right. He right worked at Scottish right. When I tell you, they used to give tickets away to the employees at that. We were that damn bad. They, we, we could not. We couldn't pay somebody right. to go right. pay for games. That's how don't, bad don't, we were. Don't wear a Leatherman jacket. Like, what do you what you got that on for? Hey, like, I, I'm a- I, bet, I better it for you. Back then when I was in elementary school, man, I'm talking about 1989, 1990, they always gave tickets away to honor roll students. And we still couldn't. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 That's bad. Yep. Yeah, man, well, but uh but if y'all if y'all watch me, man, y'all know that Atlanta sports, man. I'm just diehard. And one thing about me, man, I tell it like it is. I don't care about who like what. Uh, and a lot of fans they can't accept the truth, but I can't because I grew up with mm-hmm. that, and that made me realize uh, how bad things can be. I'm talking about Dominique getting traded, um, Braves winning all of the nineties and only winning one World Series. So what's going on now is just a straight repeat. History mm-hmm. repeating itself. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like we've been here down this road a, a, a million <laughs> times. It's like it, it, it right. don't phase me. You know, everybody panic and oh my God, we need to get rid of the whole house. Man, we was rolling when it was Chris Chandler and we weren't even supposed to make it to the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. you know, back in that time. Oh man, I can remember back when Chris Miller led the NFL touchdown passes. That's how bad it was. <laughs> 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 he did not just say that name. Oh, oh my god. Chris? He led yep. the NFL touchdown pass of 25. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, man, he fell man. off the face of the earth after that. Fell off the face of the earth after that, boy. Oh, boy. Boy, that's, that, that's, that's that was bad. bad. Yeah, that was bad then when they was giving away tickets for food stamps. And that was back when you actually had the <laughs> damn vouchers. <laughs> <laughs> man, you you you, you couldn't even, couldn't even scalp a ticket at the convenience store back then. That's how bad. <laughs> yeah, so so the key so the key that we saying here is if Be y'all thankful. don't really know the struggle struggle that yeah, we did, we went through. <laughs> but go ahead, Mike. See what what you got for us today, man. But that, that's 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 pretty much it, man. Um, like, like I said, man, man, Smith to go way back, man. Uh, it's all love, and you know we got a few people here and there that try to you know divide divide the you know the fan base as far as like creators and who's smarter, I'm better, you better. Look, man, we all in this shit together. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna stay in it together, and those who want to ride gonna ride, and that's how we do it. But let's get into this. Woo. Hey man, this schedule. Schedule crazy, though. Hey man. Hey, um, hey Styles, you wanna? <laughs> um, oh, man. I just I play this. Who, 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 which game? Let's just first. Let's go. We wanna um, kind of go bring it up, it. right? Quick. Yeah, yeah, bring it up. So, All right. Hold on. Well, want to get that comment down right quick? Uh, yes, Nathan, Nathan yes, said, I'll take Sean. He said, I'll trade Sean Jones for some taco. <laughs> you know, hey, Sean Jones coming to me with shit. Don't tempt me with tacos. I sell my soul for some tacos. Well, y'all know I love the hell out of some tacos. <laughs> well, well, I right. eat tacos right. day and night. <laughs> you got that right. Hmm. All right. So, you said, so what do I think about the schedule and how? 
The one good, the one thing I can say is a blessing about this schedule is we don't have to play five division games in six weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was killer <laughs> last year. <laughs> They've been doing that for the last three years. We are thinking about tired of that. Now, mm-hmm. like I said, it's the third easiest schedule, but it's that extra road. It, it's that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve games after the bye week. Yeah, that sounds really, really fun. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, what, what, what's one thing I don't like about this schedule is that we don't have back to back home games. Like, yeah, nah, I think, and we actually somehow, got less home games. And we, we got, got back less home road games. We got back to back road back-to-back games. Back-to-back road games and whatnot. <laughs> like they always find a way to stick us. Straight up the ass with a broomstick. And, I mean, we can't get uh, we can't get anything right. Why <laughs> we have losing seasons? They find a way to screw us. How you are you the one of the worst teams in the league and you don't have back to back home games? Come on, bro. <laughs> who yeah, has, that's crazy. You know, who heard of this? Who has ever heard of this type of stuff, bro? They don't like <laughs> us. And I, hey. I just don't get why we got that early by though. Like we got all those games right behind it, and I don't know. I guess they just thought they was doing us a favor after that London game. But it's like that's a quote unquote home game, even though we're traveling for it. I would have mm-hmm. expected it a little bit more, you know, later on in in the season. But and and the last six games, I only see one game out of that that's gonna be a cakewalk. All the rest of them is gonna be a battle to the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. And we ain't got no other primetime games other than that Thursday. Mm-hmm. Thursday game That's against it. the Patriots. I mean, of course, we, we didn't expect it to get no kind of shine, but come on. <laughs> Bruh, like, like I said, man, they they find a way, even when we terrible, they find a way to screw us. And like the one game that I'm looking at, and that's the next question I have for each one of you. Like which game that you are most looking forward to? For me personally, um, I'm gonna say this. I'm I'm looking forward to that San Francisco game. I'm Ooh. looking forward to that San Francisco game because I want to make sure that we punish this son of a bitch one for all. We 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 hit him <laughs> with a mic type of stuff because, but I want to put his ass in the dirt from now on. I don't want I don't I don't want to breathe. Without thinking Atlanta Falcons, I want him to suffer when he. When, I want a blowout. I want us to. I, I want him to hurt <laughs> their quarterback. Okay, I want him to hurt the running back, wide receiver, offensive lineman. I want him to feel our pain. Okay, I want him to feel every <laughs> bit of our pain for what he did in that Super Bowl. Okay, we don't have a Super Bowl because of this guy. I want him to suffer. Hey, man. So I, I'm looking forward to that game. When they lost that Super Bowl, that was enough comfort for me. That was karma. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. Um, I'm gonna say for one thing, I, I definitely looking forward to all the robbery games because guess what? We got a chance, y'all. You know what I'm saying to get this division, as well as that Cowboys game because I think that was the most heated game. I came on that post game show. Oh Lord, I was highly upset. You know. <laughs> I, oh. I want revenge, you know, so I'm looking forward to that game. But shoot, yeah. all the games on the roster, I don't care. I mean, I I just want us to have a, a good record, you know what I'm saying, better yeah. than what we had last year. If we can get better than four, hey, I'm happy <laughs> at this point. I think I, I think I'll go with the New England game because okay. uh, Bill Belichick has rebuilt that team and to see where they're at at that point in the season. If we can, you know, beat them and probably beat them handily, I think it prepares us for the rest of the season and those tough games down the stretch. I think it's give us a better outlook of where we stand. Mm. Okay. Well, Mike took the one for San Francisco because I already got a twenty dollar bet on that game. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> we think so much alike, bro. We think so much alike. I already got. I already got a bet, but. The one game, like I said, the game that I'm looking for, that I say the game that I'm looking at that's going to be very interesting for us, is, for me, I'm looking at that Jacksonville game. Yeah, I can see that. That Jacksonville game, and 
and the first game of the season because we're going against a young athletic quarterback. And we know the history mm-hmm. of the Falcons when it comes to young athletic quarterbacks. No. <laughs> we know the history. So we so I want to see what D I want to see what this defense can do and see what differences that it can make. Because I think that's gonna definitely be the tone set. I think that that's mm-hmm. gonna be the tone setter right there. Yeah, hell. Even the game after that against Tampa Bay. I, I, mm-hmm. I, 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 we we need we need to make we need to make up for that third and that third and damn twenty we gave up in that final mm-hmm. game of the season. Oh man, I'm talking about that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh Smitty, I, hey, 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 I'm about to say Smitty, you know I got a nickname for that defense. Um, do I need to tell them the nickname of it? Go ahead, go ahead. I think, ahead, I think the, pe- the, pe- the people in the chat know where I'm about to go with this. When you see when you saw that defense give up third and fifteens on a consistent basis, we call that the Suki Hana Amber Rose <laughs> Slut Walk defense. Because <laughs> everybody done ran through it. Everybody done ran everybody done ran through that thing. Well, when you standing uh you standing 15 yards from the line of scrimmage with your defensive back. You can mighty well say you're playing t- cheese toast from elementary school because uh, <laughs> uh, you got to do a touch your toes. And... <laughs> exactly. That's exactly. crazy. Man. That's crazy. Man. Let's get into these comments, see what everybody else saying. Um, y'all going to help me out because I am blind today, y'all. I don't know. What's up with my eyes? Well, mm, I, ain't I got right four eyes, so I'm blind every day. <laughs> I need to go hey, ahead and I, get my glasses back. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Hey, we all, hey, hey, me and me thinking like we both got glasses on and we on the same side. What? I, I wear contacts, oh, yeah. but you know, it's apparently it's time to you know let these things go. You know, I get blind every year, <laughs> blind er. <laughs> Let's see who we got. Who yeah. we got? These sauces were just Shackle Shanahan and Dan Quinn. I believe we can split with the Bucks. Okay, on oh, um, that God. Bill game is gonna be a damn blizzard. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, that time saying. of the year. Oh, yeah, that's that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be. Uh, if man, anybody watch um, Atlanta Sports Unlimited, check out Terrence Mathis. He he pretty much got on that about um, mm-hmm. um, they asked him. Well, William asked him, you know, what about those games about the outside? And he was like, when I look at a schedule, I always want to make sure we see when we're gonna play them outside cold games. We hope it's not like at the end of the year type of deal because that's the worst time to be playing and. Um, that Buffalo, yep. that's the worst time, right? There. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, so it's gonna be, and then he said right. basically, it's like, like it's no way of getting, getting warm, regardless of what you do. You can move around, you can play, you can sit in front of a heater. As soon as you move from that heater, you still cold. <laughs> 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 Nothing you can do about it. <laughs> hey, we're gonna have to play hey, some hey, tough hey. football with that. We're gonna have to play some right. tough, grind out football. In order to win that game, all, all speed and all tight ends, all that you know, that Kyle Pitts and Julio running fast, especially if it's cold and it's snowing there, they ain't gonna mean nothing. We're gonna need them big hog motors to really <laughs> shut it down and really get physical. Exactly. 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 That's so we're doing a lot of running, running, running of the ball this year. I can tell you that. Right. Hey, hey, sure. I, hey, I'm about to say, did you hear what Skip Bandler said about Dan Quinn? It was the no, funniest no. thing I said. <laughs> he said he said that Atlanta used to call him Dan Quinn. He said I called him Dairy Queen because that soft serve and defense. <laughs> <laughs> he's, not happy. he's not happy with it. He's everybody who don't know him. He's, he's, he's a Dallas Cowboy fan, so he is not happy he's with Dan Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Jerry Jerry Jones only hired yes yeah. man. That's what he do. Oh yeah, Washington. Washington. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah. Oh lord. This is as long as we beat the cowgirls, I absolutely agree. <laughs> we yeah, gotta we get them. Make, yeah, we, we need to make. Them. We we need to make up for that botched um, onside kick. <laughs> Which way to go? Which way to go? <laughs> that's why I want to go to Falcons history right there. Like that, I, I can't like, man. That felt like that's a Super Bowl for me. 
That yeah. felt like the Super Bowl. All one, all, about all one of them had to do, all one of them had to do was push somebody in the back and they would have fell on the ball. <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah. That's what? what they had to do. They literally just. It'd be, like, be like, I don't want to get your ass up and you get it. <laughs> <I don't laughs> want to it's action. It's action. Boy, I'd have, have fired the day. I'd have fired the whole coach staff after that. Like, bro, really? <laughs> yeah, he shouldn't even made it out of Dallas. <laughs> Shit. You know what? Shit, Dallas. Right you should have made it. He shouldn't even made it to the locker room. Mm mm. Go ahead. I got a question because everybody kind of heard who what we think about um the draft. You know, who is your, you know, I guess how did you feel about the draft picks and everything? What is your opinion on? I know you probably um, get some I, of your channel, but you can reiterate. I loved, it all the, I loved all the picks, man. Yeah. Uh and the Darby kid, the last pick of the draft. Oh, I he's think he's gonna man. surprise me and be one of the probably one of the best players that they drafted in the draft. Now, a lot of people don't mm -hmm. know about Dalton. I heard a lot of slack about that. But you got mm -hmm. to understand, kid's dad was an offensive line coach for the Atlanta Falcons, and they've been scouting that kid since he was in grade school. So mm -hmm. that was a given. Uh, Richie Grant mm -hmm. probably going to be one all-pro safety. Um, who else? Um, Jalen Mayfield, a lot of people didn't like that pick. But what have I preached on all my videos? Versatility. And that's what mm -hmm. he teaches. And you're going to have to be versatile, versatile on offense and defense. So that's what he looked for in the entire draft. And that's what he's built through free agency, undrafted free agency, and everything. So he's got a plan. They're going to stick to it. And I don't have a problem with that. Okay. And what about um, the hiring of Terry um, Terry and Arthur Smith? What do you think? Or oh, Dean P. Uh, you know. Well, What's I know the blueprint Mike of these Falcons right now? <laughs> I know Mike knew this, I but uh, I picked Arthur Smith. I Smith picked Arthur Smith way back in January when yeah. the process started. I even mm -hmm. did a video on that. So Arthur Smith is probably the best bet uh, because when the Falcons were successful, running the football uh, was mm -hmm. top of the game. Jamal Anderson in 98, 2012, Michael Turner, 2016, the duo of Tevin Cameron and Devontae Freeman. And if they get back to that, uh, I think think they'll be just as successful as they were in those years. Uh, because you look at 2012 and they had Tony Gonzalez, Michael Turner, Roddy White, Julio Jones, all those yeah, guys. He did pretty this good with team a, tight end, is, a good tight end. This team is reminiscent of that. Um, even though they're young, they're still reminiscent of that 2012 team. All they have to mm -hmm. do is find an air dresser like John Abraham that they had on defense on that team. And uh, I think that pretty much will sum up how good they can be. You know, and that's one thing I respect about you. You don't, you don't, you don't try to meet the narrative of this team. You know, you speak mm -hmm. your truth, and you know that's that's why I give you respect. And we got to give our creators their flowers. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I check out Smitty. We've been following Smitty for a long time. Well, I, Matt might know him longer than I have, but you always stuck to your guns, regardless of what everybody had to say about it. So y'all go check him out if y'all don't know who Smitty Sports Machine is. Go to his channel and give him. I'm gonna subscribe as yeah. well, but but you right know, quick, like I told y'all mm -hmm. in the beginning, about the losing. When you lose like that, it opens your eyes to about what can happen and how to be thankful for turnover. And like I said, if they can go back, they can go to YouTube even and watch those old Falcon teams. Those old mm -hmm. Falcon teams played three, four defense way back then. Oh my god! And if you look at those teams with Tony Casillas. Uh, John Rady, I'm naming old folks too, Buddy Curry, all those kids. Mm -hmm. Back then, man, it, they just threw a rec team on the field. They just really didn't care. So, I always say this ahead, team. Man. Man. Yeah, I, I always say this team, and Kevin knows it too, man. Like, I always say our fan base is one of the most like we we so we are so freaking spoiled to have a guy like Michael Vick and Matt Ryan. We y'all at this point, you guys think he sucked because you haven't seen the worst. We've seen the worst of the worst, the absolute worst of the worst. So when it when we talk about you know Matt Ryan and then you got Julio Jones and we wonder why we have the the takes that we have, we're talking about yeah. guys. That like we we we've had the privilege of seeing Dion. 
We only saw them what it was like four or five years. That's it. Five years. Like Dion yeah. didn't stay here. Dion did not stay with this uh, franchise long. He won elsewhere. He won championships elsewhere. So we got a short, we got a short, you know, portrait with with, with, with Dion and and Terrence Mathis. Like this is another thing where we always say Terrence Mathis. He deserves his credit. Without he, he's without doubt in my Julio Jones, and that's no disrespect to Terrence Mathis at all. Because before they were Julio, before they were right, uh, Roddy White, this guy was the absolute standard when it came to uh wide receivers for this team. He was the guy, should, he should, be in, should be in the ring of honor, he should, and that's the, that's be in the, the ring of stuff that we're talking about. So, like, we've seen the worst of the worst, and that this fan, like, that's. We got to stop. All right. I got trying a, to compare. I got a question. Mm -hmm. I got a question for both of y'all and Maggie too. If she uh want to come in. Mm -hmm. Um, and I said this the other night on my live. Mm -hmm. Fact that I had problem with pass rushing for how long? About nine years now. Uh, John Abraham lives in Atlanta. Chuck Smith trains mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Why haven't you brought either one of those guys on to help train <laughs> your defensive line? It just doesn't make sense. You, I mean, you hate them that bad that you can't ask them for help because uh, that it. And I told Chuck Smith to his face. I said, "Guy, why are you not in the ring of honor?" Chuck Smith was the first. Well, other than Claude Humphrey, Chuck mm -hmm. Smith was the only pass rusher they had uh, below two thousand and back. Chuck mm -hmm. Smith, Patrick Kearney, and probably Travis Hall. Other mm -hmm. than that. Who Rod else? Coleman was one of the, well, he was a well, Rod, Rod Coleman, Coleman, right? But one he was thing about Rod Coleman, Rod Coleman is an underrated guy. His numbers uh, mm -hmm. rivals a guy like um, Warren Sapp. If you go look at Rod Coleman, he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame because his numbers is almost <laughs> identical to Warren Sapp, and he gets no fucking credit because he's a fucking foul. What was the question? I kind of heard part of it. Well, I haven't the Falcons. Why haven't the Falcons reached out to Chuck Smith or John Abraham to come in and you help train that defensive line? You know what? Uh, when we had Chuck Smith on the show, I know you had him on your show as well. We asked him about that, and he 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 basically said it was around the era of when they was trying to hire. It was around the time Dan Quinn got the job, right? And right. Um, he basically was saying that they pretty much just did him wrong. Just just what invite him to the you know to kind of come around and walk around a little bit and you know help out somewhat. But they weren't interested yep. in him being anything a part of a lot of Falcons. And in so many ways, he said, too, uh, about uh, the Ring of Honor that uh, they were trying to look uh, past those days and look more into the Arthur Blank era. And that's not mm -hmm. fair to him yeah, or Patrick fair. Kearney or no. anybody that played before 2000. Uh, that's just yeah. not fair. To them. That team right there, that whole entire team uh, deserves some type of recognition. Something. That's why that's why I just we just keep in contact with these people. We got to, like you said, give them their flowers while they're here, because right. Chuck Smith is, is bringing out some impressive talent and he's still getting ignored. He had about four or five guys in this year's draft. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And he gave exactly. a list of guys. He gave a list of guys and I asked him uh, who would be uh, the best pass wrestler in, in the draft. And he named six people and five of them got drafted. They gonna keep and that, man on that, deserve, man. that man deserve it. So, like, like, like I said, man, like Smitty has a good channel, man. He he gets you know a lot of former writers. I mean, even current writers, former writers, former football players, man. So, like, he he's, he got a good channel. You know what I'm saying? We not what we don't do is we don't we don't recommend bums. All right, we don't do we don't recommend bums. <laughs> what we do here in Atlanta Falcon Nation, if your shit garbage, I'm, we go call it out. You ain't gonna step foot on this platform if your shit is garbage. You gotta come with the facts or your ass get knocked off on live air while yeah. you're talking mm -hmm. like we did on draft night. We don't play that. I ain't mean to highlight like yeah. Chris Dolan. Yeah. 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 I forgot about yeah. Chris That's Dolan, but probably. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, Chris Dolman. Man, that dude, that's another one. Rest I'm gonna say Ray Buchanan. I mean, like I said, there was a lot of gems on that team. And hey, how do we forget Big Grady Jackson? Oh. <laughs> yeah, Grady Jackson. Oh. 
he was part of the reason why Rod Coleman got those sacks. Cause he could chill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think what the issue is is because it's a, like a good old boy system, and you know, a lot of those yep. guys were kind of like the outspoken. They wanted like their guys to be part of the staff. And I asked mm-hmm. this question. I asked this question about two weeks in a row. You got Chuck Smith down here. He got his pass rushing camp. He developing talent, as you see. Like you said, you got future Hall of Famers on his resume. Yes. Yeah, yeah if Beasley wanted to succeed in Atlanta, he could have. Yeah, he had he all the resources. But his yeah. mind wasn't there. His yeah. mind wasn't Right. Right. It is like, yeah. like you got all this stuff down here, but you're more focused on bringing in your guys that don't have the resume of these guys. And right. that's that's where the problem lies. You gotta stop. They, they they have to stop being how do I say stop being more selfish about keeping their guys instead of getting the best guys that can get the job done more. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah, outside of it, Beasley, and outside of it, Beasley, like you said, in the last about 10 years, where was the pass rush? Before John, after John Abraham, then you had Vic Beasley for one year. Where was the pass rush after that? Mm, he ain't there. He ain't been nowhere. That's what he <laughs> <laughs> but Vic Beasley was the most consistent pass rusher outside of Grady Jarrett. Like Grady yes. Jarrett, is inside, he's a he's a defensive tackle. Those guys aren't necessarily, you know, they, they're supposed to do everything. They they control the line. They can. Like he's supposed to play the run and the pass. So when a guy like you know Grady Jarrett, you know, is the best pass rusher for me, that's that's a that's a concern. We shouldn't look for Grady Jarrett. He's not an Aaron Donald. Like Aaron Donald is just right. a freak of nature. Right. He's one of those guys like um like like I call I, I call it all the time. He's like the minister of defense, man. He's one of those guys that just rare, he's just a rare breed that when you look at him, no matter where you put him, line him up on the line, he's gonna get out to the court and he's gonna make plays. So we can't compare him to that, but you gotta have a consistent pass rusher. And 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 much as people hate Big Beasley, that's why I always call myself Big Beasley number one supporter because he was he was the only only one that was actually getting any. I mean, even what Ty McKinley didn't do a damn thing. He here. We spent the first round pick on him. How many damn what? picks we done? You know, players that we done had that. Was more consistent than uh, Vic Beasley. It wasn't one. Wasn't there um, Smitty that mentioned something about did, did this show, bringing him back? Was that you, Smitty, that said something this about show him? Or was it him? Right. I that's forgot. what I'm gonna say. Uh, okay. People people call me crazy, and y'all know I don't care what people say. But Vic Beasley, he bombed out last year. Let's call it deals what it is. Um, mm-hmm. I said bring him back. He was three four outside okay. linebacker. You sign him out of vet member. He was getting sacks. He wasn't getting the sacks that y'all wanted. But you get mm-hmm. him at a vet minimum, he gets six to eight sacks. He done his job. Simple mm-hmm. as that. So, mm-hmm. I mean, get mad, I don't care. But if he do his job, six to eight sacks on a vet minimum is pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. And and Blunt, I, I highlighted your comment. I guess uh, you wanted to be seen with your, you know, Matt Hayden self. Um, you tripping. How about that? <laughs> he, he, probably, he probably looked like a backwood. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> oh man! But like you said, like like you said with Vic Beasley, let's like say the the problem was after that 15 sack season, they tried to throw him in the Croy Beerman role, and that's not what he needed to be. Mm-hmm. If they would have right. kept him in the Alden Smith role, where he could be a occasional pass rusher, like he did that year, right. and let him work his way up to being more consistent and give him another running mate that can actually be worth a damn. So Tweety Bird. Yeah, I'll be happy with Vic with five sacks. Bruh. <laughs> what you think about a vet minimum? Our team in sacks. A vet minimum is what right for his for him for what six years? A vet three, minimum be what about two and a half? About two and a half somewhere now. So, yeah, so uh, yeah, so and you get six to eight sacks out of that. How many did Derrick Shelby get in those, what, two years he was here? How many did he get? 
And he made way more I money. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't even. I think he might got one sack. I, yeah. I I don't think he barely got that. I don't even know if he got that. I don't know if he got one sack. That dude Bruh, stayed on that injury. Man. Stayed doing nothing. They 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 just been wasting money, man. The last seven eight years just been wasting money. Oh, oh God! The Quinn's got screwed uh, screwed Beasley up. That's what Clay said. Yeah. We said that. This is what we always said. Coaching. That's why I said I'm yeah, his number one coaching. supporter because they didn't maximize his skill set. You got to maximize a person's skill set. This is what Arthur is right. doing. This is the reason right. why he got a guy like Kyle Pitts because Kyle Pitts. His skill set with a Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley is damn near impossible to stop. You can't do nothing with a 6 6 guy. You can try to post up with him all you want to. You can get inside his body, but he's still 6 6. This dude got damn near a seven foot wingspan. How are you going to stop that? How can you stop that? It's damn near he's impossible. Gonna, he's going to destroy the middle of the field, linebacker safeties. Anybody mm -hmm. you put on slot corner, he's just going to destroy them. We talking mm -hmm. about a guy that has a longer wingspan than Mike Evans. We see what Mike Evans do right. on a weekly basis. So mm -hmm. imagine what Kyle Pitts would do. You can line him up anywhere on the field, backfield too. If he get mm -hmm. out on that wheel route, you in trouble. <laughs> it's just that simple. Yeah, nothing you can do about that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was, I was about to say, I'm glad you said about uh, Thomas Dimitrov and kind of screwing up with the contracts. Um, I actually have the dead money numbers right here. We have the we have the twelfth highest dead money number in the NFL right now. And guess who's the highest paid guy on that list is? Julio Jones. I'm talking about dead money. I'm talking about players that's not on the team no more. That we oh, oh okay, okay. Uh uh. Uh, I'll say what Devontae no Devontae Freeman Daniel Freeman? Trufant Bam that's number one wow almost six million dollars that he's getting old but not playing for us who's number two ah <laughs> uh, hmm that's a good it's gotta question. be a lineman. It's gotta be a lineman. I'm picking a lineman. It's gotta be a lineman. Nope. James Carpenter, number two. <laughs> James Carpenter. <Whoa! laughs> we still paying James Carpenter and Jamon Brown. <laughs> yeah. That's a damn shit. Yeah. Mm -mm. And we up here nah, trying to Exactly. Man, come on, man. What the world? <laughs> that, that, that's that so right there. Twenty million dollars. And with yeah, that, so that's the reason why. <clears throat> got to do better with that. We got to do that better. And, and this is why I I love um what they've done in 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 free agency. Like they haven't spent money just like. Just going out getting guys with with names like the guys like uh, Copeland, Brandon Copeland, guys like Eric Harris, you know um, Harmon. You got a guy like uh, Fabian Moreau. Like these guys are very good players that don't have a big name. And for for a long time, Falcons have always tried to make a make a splash in free agency, you know. And and like the only name that they've gotten that panned out was was Mac Alex Mac. That's it. He came here because of Kyle Shanahan. Let's not make no mistake about it. He right. only came here because of and Kyle Shanahan. That's why he's Shanahan. in San Francisco with him now. And that's right. why he's in San Francisco. So we haven't done a very good job of bringing in and spending our money wisely. All right? And and that's this one another reason why I say, you know, Thomas Dimitrov was like the worst thing that ever happened to this franchise is because, you know, um, you know, with – with um, Rich McKay, he had to step away and do like he's a lawyer. He's a lawyer by trade. Right. He's a lawyer by trade first. So he had to step away and make deals to try to make sure that the Falcons get the stadium. You know, uh, all the stadium things are in done because he got the uh, he got the Tampa Bay Bucks. He got their stadium built and he got our stadium. So he he's a very wise and and, and uh, a brilliant man. But 
when it all comes down to, you know, Thomas Dimitrov, he saw opportunity and he knew Mr. Blank didn't know, you know, a lot about football, especially like the, you know, the scouting part. Of it. He's not a football guy. So he trusted this man. And this guy just went absolute ham. You get a goddamn country. You get a stint. You get a stint. Everybody get a stint. Robert Over got a $40 million contract, bro. Robert Over got a million. Think about this. The year they made the Super Bowl, Desmond Trufant was out most of the season. Brian Poole played his ass off. Yeah. Who did they get a contract to? He wouldn't have cost half of what they gave Trufant <laughs> off. It's just mm -hmm. ass backwards, man. It's just something is just common sense. Mm -hmm. Common sense. Mm -hmm. But when you overthink and start digging in the names and what their stats look like, what they play on the field look like. You can have mm -hmm. all the stats in the world, but it Key time and crunch time, how you play a crunch time determines how valuable you are to a team. Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of fans miss up at. They don't think about crunch time. They think about from 20 to 20, but what's what, what inside red zone? That's mm -hmm. why they got Kyle Pitts. That's why they got Kyle Pitts. There they cannot go, score right. a touchdown inside 20 to save their life. Mm -hmm. Second and goal, Julio on the sideline. Oh my God, Come bro, on. bro, you you Come preaching on. to the choir right now. I don't know how many times we screamed at the TV. What the hell are you doing? Why is Julio on the sideline? We in the goal line, and then you run the ball up the middle. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you take Julio off the damn field just to run the ball up the middle. <laughs> you get Tart Gurley. We know his knees are not like they used to be, mm -hmm. but. Think about it. Todd Gurley is a stretch runner that runs outside. Todd Gurley is a guy that can catch swing passes, screens, anything you need him to. I didn't see none of that last year. When they finally decided to throw him the ball, it was late in the season when his knees was gone. It's too late. Mm -hmm. You should have got him implementing that early. Maybe you could have found a way to implement the other running backs and not use the hell out of him. You were mm -hmm. trying to get your five million out of him instead of trying to stretch that five million all season. Come on, man. Come on. You had two running plays all year, and that was a goddamn ISO up the middle and a draw play. <laughs> you ran 10-yard hook routes with Keith Smith lining up on the outside. Man. <laughs> <laughs> what more can be said about that? My God. Hayden Hurst, Hayden Hurst had six or seven touchdowns, but only 43 kicks. Mm hmm That's 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 sad. And and he was a touchdown machine. The guy was freaking brilliant when it came down to the you know the uh, the red zone. But if he had more plays, if he had more plays, you know, and more opportunity to catch the ball, what a more creative, and this is this is something that we always say, but let's get to this uh, five dollar, five dollar, five donation. dollar. Mike, don't <laughs> don't think we'll get to see Julio and Pitts together. Um, look, I'm I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Follow the money. That's something that we always say. Follow the money first. Don't listen to all these rumors. Don't look at what ESPN said because ESPN don't even understand numbers. I mean, they got they getting rid of everybody on their damn staff, and they're supposed to be the whole. It's supposed to be the richest organization in the whole world, Disney, and y'all firing. Employees, but y'all want to sit up here and talk about Julio Jones? Y'all firing employees. Y'all are rich as hell, and you firing employees. But you want to sit up here and come up with these these rumors that you can't back up with any facts. All right, all you're doing is putting out stories for people to panic. Follow the money. We've been stating this all year. If the money states that who we can get rid of Julio, all right, it doesn't make sense. All right, not to say that it won't happen, but nine times out of what we always say, more than likely it won't happen because of the money. We've been saying this about Matt Ryan. Everybody said we're gonna draft the quarterback financially it made no sense and that's why a lot of people like we got to start giving these people nothing but the truth and the facts 
yes, I would love to see the Falcons get, you know, a quarterback is worth it. If it was Sunshine, if it was Trevor Lawrence, yes, I'd be right on board with it. But I'm not going to draft the second, the third, the fourth best quarterback. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? I look like drafting, getting rid of Matt Ryan when he's still playing at an elite level to bring in the fourth, fifth best quarterback? Are you kidding me, bro? Stop it. Right. We right. got to use our right. heads. Use your heads and look at the numbers. Follow guys like Matt Carroll who teach you about the salary cap. I'm not that guy, but that's why we bring on intelligent people so you guys can get the facts, the truth of the matter. Financially, next year, the Falcons, if they wanted to get rid of Julio, look, this is a new regime. They need money for the future. If they get rid of Julio Jones right now, guess what? It's going to be 15 to $17 million off of next year's uh, finance. On top of the 20 that's coming from course. the league. Right. On, on top of the 20 that's coming from the league. Yeah. Right. So just follow them. You think about it. They they got plenty of ways to go, man. They can even stretch out his deal like they did uh, with Michael Thomas in New Orleans. They can void the last mm-hmm. two, three years mm-hmm. and stretch right. the money out that way. So it's always a way. It's always a way. It's, mm-hmm. it's up to them if they want to do that. Right. Hey, what you got, K Style? What you got? I'm, I'm about to say, at the end of the day, Julio ain't going nowhere. There'll be a damn fool to let that go. There'll be a fool. Like you said, the cap gonna go up to two hundred million next year. Mm-hmm. Why make Why make such a panic move? You still got Grady Jarrett's contract. You can restructure. Mm-hmm. Yep, but I that don't think they 15, do that. 16. I think they will yeah. get him an extension because they want him to retire, Falcon. Stretch that money out, get him an extension. He still makes around the same amount of money, but it's stretched out over the years. That's how you mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Some of your key players like that, that's what you have to do. Exactly. Okay. Hold on, we got a we got a ten dollars for stew the pepper here. We appreciate it, man. He said, "Fast, true." <laughs> Hold on, I gotta laugh. That, that name funny. Man. <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody with no name like that. But we appreciate you, all. He said, "Follow the money." He loves the logic. Yes, hey, yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. The fans do it. The fans do it all the time. Follow the money. Man. It'll tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> Exactly. Shoot. Hey, when we say we asked out, we asked out. We got we have to look, we have to use this money wisely for the next couple of years. If you try to blow all your money on one damn offseason, what's going what's it gonna look like for the next offseason and the offseason after that? Mm-hmm. And I'm not this what Tom Dimitro right. messed up at. This is exactly what he messed up at. He tells Arthur Blank, I'm going to fix the offensive line. You move up to the bottom of the first round, take a kid with medical issues that may be gone with two, three years after he drafted. He wasn't here for the long haul. You took mm-hmm. those players, him and other players like him, to keep your job, but you still end up getting canned because they were not competitive enough. Mm-hmm. So you got to think about not only yourself, you got to think about the next five to ten years. That's mm-hmm. with almost every draft. Because when mm-hmm. they draft the next quarterback, they're looking at the next five to ten years. Next wide receiver when Julio Jones going five to ten years. Mm-hmm. So and they started that with this draft because Kyle Pitts is going to be here. Guess what? Five to ten years. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> and, and that's how t- that's how that's how you build winning teams. You you gotta have the GMs that think ahead of the curve, not Right for the moment, mm-hmm. right? That's what Tom, that's what Thomas Dimitrov did. He thought for the moment, and most of mm-hmm. his moments he failed. Mm-hmm. I was with you. He should have been fired after that 2012 draft class. Be honest with you. I say this every time. Yeah. <laughs> ain't no way. Hey, Peter ain't Collins, no. He only played what a year and a half. He was gone. And they was out of the whole league. They they ain't even want him on other teams. All right, the worst team didn't even want him on their team. <laughs> He was like the Bro, whole week. <laughs> that whole draft class was gone after four years. <laughs> they weren't even in the league no more. 
That's all I got to say. But what you got here, Todd Lover said, Julio's a Hall of Famer. Bet, keep them both, and they will win the Super Bowl. Bet. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let me uh yes let me uh share something with y'all. I know if yeah I know y'all probably heard the photo, but um what Atlanta needs to do is they need to get identity. I think the identity is on offense right now, but this is what make the Pittsburgh Steelers great. This is what make the New England Patriots great. They have their identity. They know what they're gonna do. Navarre Kirkland told me when they draft every year, they look for players to fit in a certain system. They don't care if your name A to Z. They can get a seven-round pick, make him into a superstar because he fits their system. We had a guy, T.J. Watt. They still could have got somebody to fill his spot. See, when you got an identity on your team and you know what you want, <laughs> what made the 49ers of the 80s great, mm-hmm. Cowboys of the 90s great, they knew what they wanted to do. Mm-hmm. This is why drafting is very important. This is why. Mm-hmm. In y'all opinion, what 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 do y'all feel that another identity is? You talk about right now or or before this year? Right now. Right now, like you said, they're looking for versatility and they're looking for mental toughness. They're looking for God. They're looking for dogs. Because that, that's why I said that's the one thing I did love about this draft. Like I said, you the first pick you got the best player available, but the whole theme of the draft is like you said with value, versatility, and toughness. Mm-hmm. So, right. like I said, by by like I said, and it fits Arthur Smith and how he wants to have his team. And like you said, this is something that we haven't had in ten plus years offensively right. since two thousand twelve. So that's where the identity is going. The identity of this team is going to be versatility, not fast and physical. We see what happened with that. It's not fast and physical. It's going to be versatility and and, and toughness. And if you think that's about what, it, that's that's what that's what Pittsburgh preaches. Mm-hmm. All the players on defense are versatile. You look at Devin Bush; he can play inside, outside. Uh, Cam mm-hmm. Haywood, he started off a defensive end. He's a defensive tackle, and he can still mm-hmm. play in. Uh, mm-hmm. Stephen Tewitt, even though he's six, seven, three hundred pounds, well, three hundred and fifty pounds, he can still play defensive end, even though he plays defensive tackle. Any one of mm-hmm. those safeties can play slot corner. This is what makes them great in that zone mm-hmm. blitz scheme. And I said it before; I could see the Falcons using that same type of scheme, zone blitz, mm-hmm. because it works with what they have. And mm-hmm. so. I mean, man, I just, I just hope and pray that um, they get everyone they need for that system because I trust Dean Pease because I see what he did in Baltimore. They mm-hmm. lost a lot of players his last year. I think that was before Marlon Humphrey came. They lost right. a lot of players, mm-hmm. but he found a way to stick together because he did what he was used to. If y'all haven't noticed. All his defensive ends and defensive tackles on his defensive line over 300 pounds. And the mm-hmm. reason why he do that is to control the trenches up and down, mm-hmm. get lateral, and they could move. We talking about Sylvester Williams, Brandon Williams, um, who who else was there? Um, I can go on and on. I think C.J. Mosley was a rookie back. Oh, uh, so, uh, what you would call uh, Mount Cody? Uh, but he Cody didn't. Upshaw. He did. He would, he really didn't, you know. Take Cody could have been great, but he was lazy. Mm-hmm. I watched game yeah, film on yeah, Alabama, and I said he was lazy because we talking about a guy six foot three, about three sixty. If he would have, we talking about Grady more... Jerry size. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, like yeah. I said, the defense can't get the defense can't get no worse than last year. That was the fifth worst pass defense in NFL history. They can't get no worse than that. Right. <laughs> but like you but said, I, like I, I just I just I just expect like a like a different mentality. Mm-hmm. And like I said, you got a lot of guys that want it. That's the biggest difference. You got guys that want it from the first pick all the way to the last 
all the way to the uh, draft of free agents. They all want it. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get this super chat, man, from Myron Jackson. All right, five dollars. Um, I expect our run to be average 150 yards a game. This is uh consistent with Smith's scheme. Um, I'll look, look, I don't care about the yardage, I don't care about it being top five, uh, a top five defense. I don't care about any of that. All right, numbers don't mean jack squat to me. I always preach one thing and one thing only. All right. Get the stops, get the opportunities when they matter most. So we can get those third and ones when they freaking matter. We can stay out of those long, you know, stop them from converting those long third and 35. Like, who the hell does that? Only the Falcons can give up a third and 35 consistently. We everybody know, oh Lord, hit third and 35. They're gonna do it and hit, hit all the damn team go. They get the damn first down. We were the only team that does things. So at this point, I don't give a fly. You know what about, you know, a running game being 150 yards a game. A lot of that can be misleaded also, uh, misled also. A lot of teams like the 49ers, they get a lot of chunk plays. So they get they get like 50 yards here, 40 yards there. And, and the rest of the game, you know, it's one, two, three yards here and there. But I, I care about getting those, those, those uh, you know, those – key runs, being able to score in the red zone, get red zone touchdown, running touchdown, get those third, convert those third and one and stay out of them. Every time we've been third and one, this damn, you know, we call him former friend here, Dirt Cutter. He like to spread the damn ball out and then bring in the damn little ass Edo Smith to come in and damn run the ball up the middle. It's third and one and we spreading the ball out. We need to get those tough yards, get those key stops on third down. That's what I care most about. So, yes, I want consistent. I want 150 yard rushing a, a, a game. That sounds good, but a lot of that could be misled. So, I care about getting those key runs and those key conversions when they matter most. That's why we were screaming last year, What the hell is Quadri Olsen? 31 and this motherfucker on the inactive list. 31 and he's on the inactive list. This is what we're talking about. That's bad coaching, bro. That's why he got fired. <laughs> Simple shit like that. But well, we got Keith Smith running hook routes on the outside. Right. <laughs> 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 but let's hit this $10 super chat by Stu the Pepperhead. He said, no ID yet in development, but me like this drive ready to get to the playoffs again and rise up with some extra hot sauce hashtag get fucking set <laughs> I like that I like that yeah like you said man we need to see like like 150 yards is good if that's how you want to do it but we need variety in the running game variety which means I'm a, I'm I'm gonna simplify it for you though. We get 150 right. yards a game. How many touchdowns do we score doing those 150 yards? Exactly. You could you could average 150 yards a game and only get a half a touchdown, average a half a touchdown a game. Right. Like I said, mm-hmm. like I said, I like I said, you give me 90 yards a game, but if I'm getting in the end zone on the ground. Two, three times a game. I'm good. Mm-hmm. But that's what we talking but, um, about. You have you what you got? I got a I got a flight, man. I got another uh interview I got to do. All right, okay. love kicking yeah. it with y'all. Everybody out there, go to Smitty Sports Machine, check me out. Please like my video, please subscribe. And if you want anything else I do, like writing, uh whatever else I do in sports, go to Twitter at fatboyslim underscore twenty one. And that 21 for Dion Sanders, if y'all didn't know. But um, mm-hmm. thank y'all for always supporting me, man. I truly appreciate y'all having me on. And uh, I'll holler at y'all soon, man. All right, man. All right, man. Appreciate One love, you. homie. Appreciate that. But that's that's it, man. Um, like we always say, man, um, it's all about support here on Atlanta Falcons Nation that we do. We support each other and we continue to, you know, rise up 
to the occasion and 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 whenever. And I know Maggie probably hate that damn word, rise up, but that's what we do. We rise to the that. occasion and and you know support. Maggie ain't worried about nothing right now. I'm blind today. I don't know what's going I'm on. Blind with my eyes. I am blind today. <laughs> Everything's clouded yeah. to me right now. I don't know what's up. So, no, I didn't go out and party. Whoever said that Maggie don't dipped out. No, I'm in the background. <laughs> I just can't she see right about now. She's the producer of the show and she's blind right now. So, yeah, well, I ain't nothing. I don't know what's going on with my eyes. Got cataracts. So but let's get into these questions. I'm sure you guys got some questions yeah. that you know we wanna. You guys wanna? I'm not high. Asking. No, I'm not high. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Hey, man. Actually, if you was high, you would be able to see better. Everybody, who, come yeah. on, man. Exactly. Y'all ain't no smoker. Exactly. If y'all don't know that. <laughs> hey, look. I'm about to say I want to get into this comment. ATM basically said Arthur Smith said he wasn't playing around in practice days. They put an emphasis on accountability. That's what the oh. fuck we've been waiting on. <laughs> I do need and to self-medicate. Be <laughs> man, I'm I mean, hella fake. I want to say, uh, 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 how do we feel about the first game? We're going to win it. Oh, that's our ass whooping. That's a big that that what we're gonna see a uh, Kyle Pitts because they don't have linebackers to match up with Kyle Pitts. They don't have slot corners that can match up with this dude. So they don't even have safety that can match up with him. So they're gonna have some problems. They got a pretty good uh front front four, but outside of that, like I feel for them. This this might be a big time blowout, and I'm talking about big time. Because they can't match up with Cal- Calvin uh, Ridley. They really can't match up with Calvin Ridley. I just feel sorry for them when they try to match up with Kyle Pitts and Hayden Hurst. I know we just keep forgetting about Hayden Hurst. Everybody forgetting about Hayden Hurst, but this dude could be even more of a problem than he was last year. Yeah, that first game right there, like you said, that's going to be the emphasis on the new regime. This is going to be the mm-hmm. first game to make a statement. Because remember, for some reason, every time we play the Eagles, we always lose 15 to 10. I don't know what it is about that score. We always lose 15 to 10. Mm-hmm. But like I said, the main thing is we got to see how this defense is going to play against athletic quarterbacks. Athletic young quarterbacks, because as we like I said earlier, we know the history. But before Dean Pease and Arthur Smith here, we know the history of the Atlanta Falcon defenses against athletic young quarterbacks. They become Hall of Famers, and and one of the reasons why. I've stated this is because the lack of creativity. There was no creativity when it came down to that, to the offense, uh, to the defense. Everybody knew exactly what was happening. We would get up, we would start blessing, we have a good game plan to start the game, and for whatever reason, we just stop. They wouldn't even go back to it. They would never go back to the blitz in the second half. They would just stay in that cover three and just let teams burn us until, you know, and, and until whatever like. It was just frustrating. It, it was frustrating seeing, you know, guys like Grady Jarrett working his ass off and playing well, and then you turn around, you know, the game, the, the, like the chemistry, and he about to pop a bill because he going going through withdrawals. <laughs> he going through withdrawals, man. <laughs> it's a sad occasion, but that that's that's what the defense was. So. Under a guy like Dean Pease, man, I don't think he'll sit back and let a rookie have five, six, seven seconds in the pocket. Like we've actually counted during the game where this where you got a quarterback running around for five seconds looking for a guy to throw to. That happened with Tom Brady. Tom freaking Brady had five years in the damn pocket and nobody even got close to him. No blitz, no nothing. 
So that's a major problem. Mm. Creativity has to improve. No, remind me. No. They actually had debit prints from the defensive line from the line of scrimmage because they couldn't get no damn way. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's but, absolutely yeah, that, insane. <laughs> Hey, somebody said they want to buy me a skull cap. Like I said, you make sure you donate to the AFN Cash App. We can get a hey. case style. Uh, <laughs> Let up out skull this cap you Here, Atlanta Falcon. Hey, dollar sign to Atlanta Falcon Nation. <laughs> yeah, we get a new skull cap in here. I mean, everybody talk about my do rag and stuff. So you know, you know, <laughs> quoted by quoted by Twisted Torch TV. Yes, do rag K styles. <laughs> exactly. Now, 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 actually, this is a good one right here. The only reason why I look like this is because it straps in the front. I just got it tied in the back. That's why I look like that. <laughs> why does everybody talk about my damn dude? <laughs> 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 Well, at least you know they fuck with us. Like I said, we I, we appreciate it. We we appreciate y'all fucking with us and, and, and tuning in every week. Like I said, y'all make sure you tell your friends about this and make sure they hit that thumbs up button as well. Mm-hmm. So, well, we got Xavier Littman says, he says more of a statement of question. Only painting the narrative of a Julio Jones trade because they don't want to see all those weapons on the field at the same time. They Absolutely don't. true. It, it's it's absolutely true, and like I said, man, the like for whatever reason, well, I we know the reason. ESPN want money, money, yeah, yeah, that money, a money, yeah, yeah, money, uh, that yeah, money, yeah, that money, 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 money. Yeah, that's what yeah, they want. Yeah, that money. <laughs> <laughs> they want that money, man. And like I, like I said, I get it, but don't look. This is the Falcons. We need something to cheer about. We haven't had much to cheer about since the Atlanta United, and then since the United, Atlanta United, we haven't had thing to cheer about since since 1995 when the Braves won the World Series. So give us something, all right? Can we have something? Give us something. Exactly. But, exactly. I, like I said, man. Exactly. Just gotta follow follow the money, man. When it comes down to the trade, look at. I, and that's what I always implore people to do. If you have any doubt on whether or not the Falcons can trade somebody, look at the salary cap. See how much we have as far as the salary cap is concerned. If there's if it's gonna put them in the, the negative, then we don't do it. We don't we, we don't pull the trigger. All right. But I, I just don't think the Falcons uh, at this point in time financially, it just doesn't make a lot of sense for the Falcons to trade. On the trade, Julio Jones, man. Financially, um, I got, I mean. uh, I'm finna just be blind for the rest of the night, so I ain't coming on screen. But um, Twan M, he sent ten dollars for K Styles new do rag. There you go. <laughs> appreciate, it, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate the cash app. Appreciate it. If y'all see right, me, I'm looking work. all at the screen, all extra close. Like I, I don't know what's going on with my eyes today, so. I'll see, be here in the see, back the reason, see the reason why they say it, the reason why they say it looks toe up because it's like this, but in actuality, it's double compression like this. So it looks stupid as hell, but the shit works. <laughs> it, it looks stupid as hell, but it works. So basically, it's not one do rag; it's technically two. By the way. <laughs> Hey man, that's the expert, the do expert right there. <laughs> hey, shit, do rag. Do rag. Hey, you and damn Jew wear you damn Jew and Twisted Twitch wear hats all day. Uh-huh. Be y'all. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I, I do they don't want me to do that. Hey, they don't want hey, they don't want they, hey, look, they don't want they don't want me to break out my Russian hat on y'all asses. Oh, wait a minute, since you guys say the wrong I'm finna go, 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 go bring my Russian hat on y'all oh, asses. Y'all want to talk to you. Y'all done already did it. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, this uh, hold on. 
Hey man, ESPN the known ass Molly. Look, man. <laughs> oh my God. Look, uh, she she just talked to me. Like, she's too whiny. Like, I don't know what it is, but she's just too whiny. She's just complaining about this. She just she's just annoying as hell. I, I can't watch her. I can't watch ESPN. It's just too much. They just cry and whine and, and they repeat the same stuff every day. It's like, bro. This is the Urkel hat right here, boy. I'm telling you. That thing go that thing go hard. All I do is when I get home, when I get cold in the wintertime, you see this? Strap. <laughs> Strap. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he need to be on the show. Hey, we got hey, we're gonna definitely uh have an opportunity for you guys to come on. We got plenty of those coming. That's just stay tuned for the yeah. season, man. Even our post game shows, we're gonna have um, <laughs> you know, they're gonna be open to come on the post game shows. Um, the SU we call it, you know, uh, the after show. We're gonna have those where everybody have an opportunity to. You know how they um you know how they say about the game, but hey man, what what a question is that? Y'all up here talking about Molly and don't nobody give a damn about no Molly and Jalen Rose, man. Nah, these these motherfuckers talk about my hat and my do rag and shit. That's what they <laughs> talking about. They <laughs> said that's it. Man, man, hey, man, 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 this hat, this hat go hard, boy. Hey, when, when, <laughs> when damn September and October come around, this hat hard as hell. hell. I ain't got no look. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got wear no. I ain't, I ain't got wear no. Uh, no, no double insulated ass hat. I just wear this, and I'm good. But I heard, I heard what you said about Molly and her. Um, and, and her, I want to, I want to pretend to be a feminist ass. Because after that whole thing with Lavar Ball, she just needed to shut the fuck up for me. I'm just gonna be honest with you. She didn't even shut. She they, they, that that's how they, that's how they be looking at. Her. I don't even know what she be. I, I don't know what the hell she be talking about half the time, and she's just there just to disagree with everybody and come back with a dumbass statement. So, not every woman is like that, but you know they need to give women like. Maria Taylor a chance to actually do something, you know. Um, Doris, Doris Burke, like she she's not a, a ESPN, you know, uh, uh, a commentator, um, not commentator. What the hell you call it? Whatever it is, whatever Stephen oh, A. Uh, Smith, uh, moderator, my, my moderator, moderator, moderator. Yeah, like Doris Burke is probably one of the most intelligent women. And just as yeah, like, I'm, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a yeah, hard yeah, time donate, over here. Yeah, yeah, donate to the cash app so you can get uh Anna Mae some glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I hate glasses, I hate them. <laughs> man, man, glad glad glasses make you look like a dork. That's a good thing. <clears throat> I guess I, I do need a pair of glasses, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Now, Devon, actually, it did come with instruction manual. <laughs> Why are you saying? <laughs> the instructions came on the back of the box. <laughs> but you said you, say you want to bring a couple on for a couple minutes. Yeah, let's go ahead and just for the last 10 minutes, we can bring on some fans. Now, like I said, every time, don't come on here and be acting the fool and be just saying Matt Ryan suck. Please come with some facts, stats, and all that. So we're going to bring on a couple. And look, I want to see some new faces. It's always the same, folks. Please, let's see some new faces on here tonight. I love everybody else that jump on every time. I know y'all be eager. But I want to see a couple of new faces tonight. So. Let's see how we're gonna do it. Let's see. Let just for the last don't 10 minutes. Scared. Don't be scared. I'm in the back. I'm in the back. I'm just blind. I'm just in the back. But uh, we're gonna put, put it on there in the chat. Uh that means you yeah. ATM for uh 3405. We're gonna we, you gonna take a break today. <laughs> uh, uh, I will put, put Let's on give my, it to somebody on. else. 
put on my hunting for squirrels hat on right quick. <laughs> who who is it gonna be? Who wants to come on the camera with the Atlanta Falcons Nation team? Who wanna do it? I'm gonna be look, um, I, I just need to be on the camera. If I look crazy and looking like I'm staring at the screen, oh well. You know, oh, we do we, this all the time. The real real, we do this all the time. Oh, right? get off the camera. I'm just kidding. Look, if y'all see me looking <laughs> cockeyed and uh, you know, I, you know, I can't see. So, you know, whatever y'all saying, I can't see it. <laughs> I'm be all like this. What did they say? Because <laughs> I literally don't have oh, no context, no glasses on right now. So yeah, everybody blurry. Isaiah Lewis, if he sucks, come on here. All right, stop being a damn punk. And bring no, it in. Uh, um, don't bring. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh, no, no, bring it in. Tell us why. Him. Why he sucks. All right. We got somebody on. Y'all got to hit that because you know I'm blind. So I got oh, it. All right. right. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just sit here Good and look job. look cute. <laughs> the Get your camera together. Texas boy. We waiting. Oh, we'll take him off the screen until it, it comes on. It's coming. Let me see. Uh, okay, he'll come back. He'll come back. Um, you got to either have your Wi-Fi on or connected to the Ethernet. Whatever you're gonna do, if you're gonna jump on here. Mm. Who, who? Who else? Who else? Who? Everybody? Who I saw else? Somebody, uh, uh, Kai, hey, Kai, 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 just one. Kai just one. The um, the link is in the um chat. Link is in the so, chat. All you got to do is just uh, join with your camera and your audio. You can be on your phone. You can be on your laptop. Wherever you're watching it from, you can use any device. Okay, we got somebody on. And we got LS two on. That's the homie. That's the homie LS. I said somebody new, but okay. I guess we're going to take what we can take. <laughs> All right, get, get, get Jordan Texas in there. Get, get Jordan Texas. He, I feel like he ready. Okay. Well, Georgia, you ready? Okay. And, and LS is on the screen, too. I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm screen looking at the screen all crazy. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Georgia, you there? Texas. Y'all can hear me? We can hear I'm you. Here. Oh, okay. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? What's going on with you, Maggie? Yeah, yeah you is like, like you looking real hard, like you searching for something on the floor. Or I, I'm, 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 I'm blind today. <laughs> I am absolutely blind today. I have no, no nothing to help me in support of sin. <laughs> well, I know it one thing I wanted. To, I want. I was just. I was. You know what I'm saying. I was looking at everything, man. I went to thinking, man. I was like, how y'all feel about it? Because like. I'm just looking at this roster, bro, and I'm like, I believe this is the best roster we don't had since Arthur Blank been here. Like, I really, mm -hmm. I really don't see nothing else that was better, bro. Mm -hmm. And then, like, everybody keep talking about the tight ends. Oh yeah, and hey, man, I'm gonna tell you something else I love about Arthur Smith. He is he get offensive lineman, man. You see the, the last sign, all I seen was oh, I ain't care about the tight end. I just saw the offensive lineman and I like it went and I like it went crazy. But I'm hiding my camera, y'all. I can't do this no more. <laughs> it, it's, it's 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 the thing about this, this these two tight end sets, man, that I love so much. And then who we got, bro. It's like folks don't understand like how much pressure we can put on people, bro. But one thing about us, and we was always good for scoring first. You get what I'm saying? We always good. But just mm -hmm. think about it with what we got now. We score first, right? They say like, mm -hmm. we get the ball back. Now, we run. We get six yards. Okay, you got your two tight ends right here. Mm -hmm. Just say they against the line. You, 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 um, you have like when you come in, okay, like the first, the first, when, the first down. You know how you got everybody bunched in on the line. Mm -hmm. Say uh, you running back get six yards. No huddle. You know what I'm saying? Rush to the line. Now when you rush to the line, uh, uh, Kyle Pitts is on. Kyle Pitts is in the slot next next to Ridley, right? Then you just motion him over to who to your side. As soon as he gets set, you snap the ball. They don't know whether to look for the run or the pass. Like, it, it's too dangerous, bro. 
And then you got Hay Hurst right there on the field. Like I I don't see ain't nowhere in the world that our offense don't get better. And and um and the defense don't get better, bro. We got dogs out there mm-hmm. now. I mm-hmm. feel like we we plugged in a lot of ho- a lot a lot of holes. And then like when it comes down to the mobile quarterback, man, I ain't gonna lie, we got a lot of cats out there that don't seen a lot of that in college. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I love this roster, bro. I feel like I feel like what Arthur Smith said, it was in one of those mini movies. He was like, uh, we trying to be great now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, the yeah. way he put trying it, to win now. Mm-hmm. the way he put it, like next year when we come out, we are trying to win the Super Bowl. It ain't no, you know, we trying to figure things. It's not going to be that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like we are a Super Bowl threat automatically. And I truly believe that. I, I feel like that, bro. I, I feel like that. I ain't got to not see it yet. I, I'm not worried about that. I know how good Matt mm-hmm. Ryan is, bro. He going to hit everybody. How is he not? He do it when he getting his ass kicked. You feel me? Mm-hmm. He is not going to be taking too many licks now. If he's not taking licks, <coughs> Matt Ryan is going to pick everybody apart. I, I don't see nothing else. I just feel like we're okay. going to make that run, bro. But how y'all feel about the roster, man? Do y'all feel the same way? I really don't care about the roster. I actually care about the coaching staff more so than the roster. Like, we've always had a talented roster, but I'm more interested in our our coaching staff. I think our coaching staff is probably the best that we've seen in a while. But let's get um um your boy, Joy the Texas boy. What's good, Pimpin? There you go. We're having it. Man, that man look like he got me in the damn one, one of them. Uh, what you call it? Uh, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> like I'm in the vortex. One of those. Uh, <laughs> that '70s show. And yeah, when they got this. Oh, oh Lord! Talk about the album <laughs> stuff. Yeah. We can't. Um, we can't hear you, Georgia, Texas boy. And yes, I do need some glasses, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie over here. I am blind as a bat. Today, so yes. mm-hmm. man's crop just go for me. We got you. <laughs> there you go. Cash app. That's Get Maggie a pair right. of glasses. How about that? Exactly. <laughs> I'll be fine. Hey, I just hey, to, uh, Texas, we, we we try to get the hit, but like LS, like you said about um about the tight end, and like I said, the one thing that I do love about about how they run it. Mm-hmm. Can y'all hear me now? Is. Yes, we can All hear right. you now. Oh, yeah, 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 we got it. What's going on, what's everybody? Going on, what's going on? Oh, shit. What's happening with uh, you? you know, man? Man. Rise up, man. We're talking about these dirty birds. You already know it. Yep. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? What oh, you got? Man. I'm ready for this season to start because I don't think everybody is really emphasizing what Dean Pease is going to do to this defense. Mm. 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 Oh, I like that. Because I was watching highlights yesterday of how of how he was using a creeper defense to expose the, the Browns. And I can definitely see the Falcons defense doing that this year, exposing a lot mm. of people. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of a lot of players ain't, you know, ain't playing so they could you know, everybody everybody moving back to different positions now, as y'all notice. I don't know if y'all pay mm-hmm. that attention, but there's a lot of players going back to different positions and stuff like that. They mm-hmm. they analyzing this team like, look, nah, he was in the wrong place. He need to be over here. I feel like mm-hmm. they're gonna do that for the defense as well, um, and give everybody yes. a chance to play defense. Yes. And then I don't think a lot of people is also talking about the addition of Cordero Patterson to this offense. Oh, oh. that's the special teams. That twelve <laughs> personnel, those late games. You don't know who's going to get the ball, the running back, the wide receiver, the tight end. We coming at you and everybody can catch. Everybody can get yards after catch, and everybody mm-hmm. can make their own move. Mm-hmm. And they all fast. All <laughs> fast. <laughs> right. It all fast, man. And the, they all fast. and the thing is, you actually have a return guy that's willing to try to return the ball. 
Exactly. <laughs> no more air queens. No more. I'm news. sorry, but, but, but no you more, more Christian Blake. <laughs> Well, you said a mouthful then. I get tired of starting at the 20, the 25, the 19. That I used to kill me, man. That used to kill me, bro. That used to kill man, me, man. Like, who are they going to double team? If you double team Julio, you finna get killed somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Right. And then, and then I'm looking at it like this. That 13 person, like I said, the, with the tight ends that we do have, that 13 personnel is though when when you looking at the from a defensive side of the of the ball, looking at the offense in the huddle, you thinking, oh, you see just three tight ends, they finna run the ball. But these guys come out and shotgun right. and you got <laughs> tight ends all over the damn place. Jay, Man, you come they on. sleeping on Hayden Hurst. They sleeping the, on Hayden Hurst. A, Kyle Pitts and Hayden lot. Hurst. Man. That's almost like Gronk and Aaron and Aaron Hernandez. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Come on on, Jay. You can come on on here. And we got uh, VF Baller. Okay, we got another one. We're going to just have a whole uh, Brady bunch up in here. How about, how about that? This is the only place we get good Falcon content. <laughs> Thank you. YouTube. Thank you for the shout out. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Can't get no good content on TV. We don't. <laughs> hey, man. That's, that's what we're here for. Exactly. So y'all added yeah, to man. that actually. We got some we got some talented fans too now. I ain't gonna es- underestimate our fans. Y'all be throwing out some oh, gems in the chat. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all. Yeah, ball. Yeah, y'all be good. Good. That's all yeah. Good. What's going on, people? How y'all doing? What's going on? What's going on? Look at you got your little setup. Okay, okay. I'm about to say, I thought he, he looked like he might be doing something right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, no, man. I, you know, no, no, because cause this is the thing, you know, like you said, we don't get too much representation, or not on TV and, and very little on, on YouTube, no. you, know, I, you know, I do Absolutely. my little thing or whatever, but, you know, every time I go look on on YouTube, is I I I I um seen y'all a couple of times, and then I see these other people are trying to do a little thing talking about you know our team or whatever. You know, you know I I do a little bit myself, but it's good to see other people actually talking about you know Atlanta because you know nobody mm-hmm. really want to talk about just Atlanta sports in general. They just yes. overlook us all mm-hmm. the time. Yeah. You know, they want to come to the city. They want to hang out. They want to visit. They want to spend money, but they don't put us on TV at all. Like, look, look what they, they, they trying to poo poo the Hawks. And I know this is not even a, you know, a, yeah. a Hawks no, no, fan. no, no, no. We, 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 we're we Hawks fans too. We trust and believe. We so we talk about what we want to talk about. No, so yeah, but, I'm, but, but, but I'm saying, you know, like I'm saying, but you know how the, the, the big channels, you know, do us. They don't really, you know, talk about it like that. But yeah, nevertheless, right. it's right. good to see yeah. a lot of y'all, you know, a lot of us out here actually trying to represent for the team because even though a lot of people are kind of feeling some type of way about the new coaching staff or whatever, I, I think they're doing a really, really good job. I think they're doing a very good job as far as very turning good. things around and, and configuring things different. And based on what you see, we don't have the same Thomas Dimitrov, Dan Quinn. We don't have this type of mentality. Mike Smith. Mike Smith, yeah. And, I, and, I, and you know, with Mike Smith, I'm not even – I'm not really upset at what Mike Smith did. He, he kind of be- started the beginning of where we are now. I don't want to talk about Dan Quinn. I'm not even going there. That's a whole different story. But Mike Smith was good. <laughs> Mike Smith was too concerned. Uh-oh. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I do agree. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, it's just the way that Dan Quinn did things was a little bit wonky. Cause he tried to do all these one liners and these punch lines and tried to, you know, try to do this little rah rah thing. It's like, yo, you got the talent. All we need to do is execute, and and oh it, it was just times when he just didn't do that. Dan you know? Quinn would be a good college coach. That's what he needs to be. No, he, he needs to just stay. Rah-rah. Yeah, that that or just stay as a defensive coordinator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm about, hey, I'm about to say, Dan Quinn would be better fit with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders up in the Canadian Football League. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. But no, no, it's just no. But uh, like I said, man, it, it's good to fellowship with other Falcon fans because, like you said, they they just you know they overlook us, man. They overlook us, and then when they want to talk right. about us, they want to always want to bring up you know twenty eight to three, and you know that's so old. They're like, all right, you really, y'all really want to talk about that? It's like, 
<laughs> right. I'm just tired of hearing about it, but you know, we 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 we're, we're moving in the right direction, and I like to see what, what, the way things are going. We out here though. To, yeah, absolutely. We out here though. Absolutely. Right. Right. You know. We so I, I I I do got a, I do got a question. Though. What do y'all think about them holding on to Matt Ryan overall? Because we all thought that they was gonna get a quarterback yeah, or whatever in the draft, but they end up holding on to Matt Ryan. And what y'all think about that? The best. Matt Ryan, the best man. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Was like the best. Yeah, I, I, I like him. There was no other quarterback on the board. Better than Matt I Ryan. I agree. Yeah. Because a lot of people try to talk bad about Matt, but, you know, Matt constantly puts up numbers. And nine times out of ten, it's not his fault that we're in the position that we're in when games are lost. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, it's just, it's just funny how that plays man. out. That they just they constantly yeah, talk about Matt Ryan, man. They, they be looking at the game. I be looking at it with them. And they be like, man, just throw the ball. I'm like, you can't even see the receivers on the screen. What are you talking about? <laughs> But then, Matt and, but Ryan then when you the last of the dime breed, he's I agree. Pocket. And then when you look, hey, then when you look at the stats, don't nobody want to see a true pocket passer no more. Hey, man. Nah, and then when you then when you look at the stats, dude have like he had like thirty three for uh, for thirty eight or thirty three or forty one, three hundred fifty yards, two uh, four touchdowns and one pick. But they're gonna say it's his fault that they lost the game. Like how right. you throw for three hundred fifty something yards and then and then claim that they mad you lose at the Matt game Ryan because of him because Matt Ryan and turned the pocket Russell Wilson and throwing parallel to the ground like Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> yeah, they they want to see the wild fact instead of the numbers. I, I, yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Facts. I don't yeah, get it. Man. Matt Watson got the same. Uh, he got the same. The, they got the same record, and they talk about man. Yeah. Well, you know, Sean Watson be going off like what? Yeah, like that. Yeah. How about flash? Yeah, how about flash? Yeah, how about say, you want to see somebody Matt, run around? Matt, I'm about to say Matt Ryan doesn't have commercials. That's why they don't like him. But he you know, but you know the reason why that is, though, right? It, it's the same reason why I tell you how they overlook this city. You know, I mean, I don't live in Atlanta anymore. I'm, I'm moving back eventually, but they overlook Atlanta in general. They don't. They don't try to find any, you know, uh, any type of branding of any of our players here. You know, I mean, outside of what they tried with Michael Vick, but that that was it. You know, they don't really try to brand none of our players, none of them. Trey Young, nope. Freddie Freeman. I mean, just look. I mean, we got a we had a lot of ta- we have a lot of talent. Joseph, but they don't never try to Martinez. brand. Them. They don't never try to put right. Yeah, exactly. I ain't even talk about the soccer team. They they just they, they overlook the city. They always do that, and I don't understand it. I don't understand. But it. but I got but I got a question about that. So, do you think it's more so of them overlooking the city because of the jealousy, or is it because of the media within the city and the fan base of the city poo pooing on all these teams is what's giving them the ammunition to overlook us? I think it's a little bit of both, Politics. but mostly it, it mostly it's just the media. I think it's mostly the media. I ain't gonna um, lie. I, I kind of think it's the fans too, bro. Because take it back, like. Like with the Hawks, you remember, y'all remember when the Hawks was doing real good, bro? Like we was beating yep. everybody with Horford, yeah. Joe Johnson, and all that. Yeah. Yep. And yep. in the playoffs, yep. when we was losing, the fans was just sitting there not saying nothing. They well, were I mean, trying to add the team on. They talked about that for a long time, bro. Well, I mean, let's talk about the time when Paul Millsap and them was here, and they won like what thirty straight in in in, in the season. They, yeah, they, they they didn't even want to talk about us on TV, and then the fans was kind of iffy about mm-hmm. it as well. I, yeah, you're right. I think he even go back further than that. He go back to the days of Deion Sanders when we let him be in the locker room with MC Hammer and two legit crew and doing whatever they want to do. <laughs> and we just lost the respect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then, like you said, with that whole question. question for everybody. Once, go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. No, no, I'm about to say that, like I said, I got it. They can't we, hear you. We can hear you. We, we can hear you. Okay. What's going on? Never mind, my fault. Go ahead. Oh, no, 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 I'm about to say. So, do you remember the uh, Trey Young Luca swap in the draft? Do you remember mm-hmm. at the beginning of the season when everybody was talking about how trash Trey Young is? Oh, I yep. was one of them. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was. I was one because that that was based on how I saw him in college. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I was one of them. Defense. He don't play defense. That's my only problem. 
I just thought he was just jack- I thought he was just jacking up a bunch of shots at Oklahoma. I did I did not see the oh, way he no, plays no. now. I did not see that coming. Oh, I, 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 I'll eat I'll eat I'm crow on that one because I did not see I'm that coming. A, I'm, a, I'm a boy. I'm a basketball boy. I'm telling you, man. When I when I saw yeah, him play, like, this is this is what well, this is what I always say to people. Why the fuck am I playing defense? I'm I'm so goddamn good at offense. Why the fuck am I caring about him? Look, the motherfucker putting up thirty points. Why the fuck am I caring about him playing defense? That's why you draft guys like Dennis Rodman. You know what I'm saying? You don't draft. You didn't draft trade to be the damn defense and offensive star. He's the offensive star. That's why you draft guys like, um, you know, uh, DeAndre Hunter. You got guys like uh, Cam Reddish. Those guys are supposed to, you know, Clint Capella. Now you don't even worry about it. Nobody even notices uh, Trey Young defense now because you got the defenders. So it's about building the complete team. So that's what people, you got to you gotta remind, and this is go back to Falcons fans. I want you guys opinion and thoughts and expectations. Uh, we're going to start with uh, uh, BF. We're going uh, to start with V-Baller, and we're going to go to Eric J., but I, I want to get you guys uh opinion and thoughts on uh, your honest opinion on how far yeah, can the Atlanta Falcons go to the playoffs. We're going to go in order. So V, what you got? I I think they could make the playoffs, but I said it on a, on a, on the video I did when I did the um schedule and when I was going through the schedule. I think they're going to end up going like 9 and 10 or 9 and 8 and that may cause them not to get in the playoffs, but I think it's a I think what they have, I think, is capable of making the playoffs because I think, I mean, outside of the Bucks, I think the division is pre- is pretty much us to get. I don't think we have oh, no absolutely. threat. Yeah, I don't think yeah, we have no threat from the Saints or the Panthers. So uh, if we can get one against the Bucks and maybe hopefully they slip, I think we can win the division. But realistically, I'm thinking they can win about 10 games. So that makes it, what, 10 and 7, 9 and 8 because they got 17 games this year? Yes. I say about 12 and 5. We go 12 and 5. We're going to have a tough Buffalo game in the cold because we're not used oh, to playing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I say the Washington Redskins game. The Washington Redskins game is a, is a toss-up. Quarterback, Tom Brady, is going to be the quarterback. Yeah, Tom Brady's 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 going to be the quarterback. And I hope we sweep them swamp rats. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it ain't gonna be a hope we will because, uh, who they got as quarterback right about now? Boy, they if they throw Ian Book out there, bro, oh my goodness, this shit is gonna be hilarious. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be hilarious and delicious. We're gonna, we're gonna, we gonna <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious and delicious. We're gonna send blisses from everywhere. I, I, I'm going to need his teammate. What's the teammate that we drafted? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, 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 good. Oh, good. I need, I need Ogun Deje to go ahead and get my two sacks off of him. <laughs> <laughs> two of them. Get two. What you got, Ogun- uh, LS? <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm going to tell you like this. The way I look at it, that's why I talk about the roster so much. I feel like the coaching, that's all we ever needed. And now we got that. <laughs> If you look at it, look, look, the law for this line going to be better. It don't matter whether folks knocking Matt Ryan out or not. He's still going to kill teams. So if you knock them 45 right. down to about a good 25, oh, they there. I don't care about no number one defense or nothing. That Matt Ryan don't kill all number one defense. <laughs> that's what he do. You got that's, that, a, right. that's a fact. Now, if look you at look, at, look yeah. at our defense last year, bro, we know they was trash. But when the coaching did change, they got, they got way better. You get what I'm saying? Now you got DEP yep. coming in, bro. It's yep. going to happen. 12 this games up, and we're going game. to the playoffs. I, I'm sorry, bro. I, I'm telling you, I feel that. I feel. I watched them boys mm-hmm. last year, and we lost by, what, seven mm-hmm. points a game? Come on, man. And that's the thing. A lot of our games that we lost, we went four and twelve. But a lot of the games that we lost, they were like really close. It was just mental mistakes. Uh, thanks, Dan Quinn. It was stupid but, mistakes. Yeah, you know what I mean. Coaching mistakes. That's all that was. Yeah, it was. And, and even when Dan Quinn was going, we did see a difference in the team with with the interim coach. So it it, it wasn't necessarily the talent at all. You know. So mm-hmm. I think it would be fine. The talent is all there. Right. Eric, talent got there, no doubt. What you no got, doubt. um, Eric? 
I think I think they're gonna do good this year though, because it's it's really until Dan Quinn came. But every other new coach we had, we did good in the first year. But not only just saying that with the historical thing of the um the coaches, it's really just how he building the team. He building them to run first, you know, and I really think that's success. And I, I love Dan um Dean P Dean Pease as a um defensive coordinator. Oh yeah, I love that he said he just he came out of retirement because he wanted yes. to. Yes, for the Falcons, you know. So mm-hmm. that's special. That's special. Okay. And yeah, Jay, we're gonna give no you a try, coaches. Jay. No more. Go ahead. Change. Give us a little something. Give us a little something. Yeah, please. Mm-mm. I think that's you talking. I can hear you. <laughs> uh all right, check this out. What's happening, Jay? Let's go. All right, check this out. K Styles. This is why yo, I came yo. in because here's the kicker. I was the one that talked about your little cap. <laughs> I was the one that talked about your cap. Hey, I'm seeing right. see you talk shit. I, 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 I see you hang on, but <laughs> check I created this. I I created this. But I love you. <laughs> appreciate, right, appreciate you. it, homie. It's appreciate, all love. Hey, it's all love, man. We don't take nothing serious around here, boy. We love the jokes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, I was just blind for about thirty minutes. I'm, I'm well, back well, well, well. <laughs> I was well, the one who paid. The team. Well, I'm gonna say one more thing. I'm gonna oh. Felipe Franks. Felipe Frank got to go. No, wow. how you say that? Oh, no, man. Why? No. What's that? Why you say that? You gotta give us why. Yeah, you gotta give. You gotta know because I, I, I'm, I'm big I'm on Felipe Franks. You gotta let me know because AJ McCarron ain't what's happening. I'm a, I'm a mute. I'm a mute. AJ Gallagher. Yeah, no, I'm saying because um, AJ, AJ McCarron ain't what's happening. You need to give us, you need to give us an answer about for that. Yeah, we need to give us. You gotta tell us why. We need to just got here, man. Let them prove yeah. themselves first, bro. Like all these players got to prove themselves first. Like I'm not exactly. finna, um, I'm not finna I say we finna be Super Bowl qual- call up. You know, we got to see what they're gonna do day one, first snap. Uh, That's the bottom line. My, you got to see how wife. they do with this coaching staff. And your and wife. My wife want to say something. Excuse Go ahead, wife. me. Let me uh, hey, how y'all doing? How, how you doing? doing? How you doing? I'm I'm well, y'all. Um, I just want to say, do you think if uh, Matt Ryan wasn't paid? I ain't gonna say so much as pay, but if he wasn't Arthur Blank's son-in-law, he's not Arthur Blank's paid, son-in-law. Hold on, wait, hold on, wait, because I know I'm gonna get scorned. I know I'm gonna get scorned for this, but if he wasn't <laughs> Arthur Blank's son-in-law, being paid the way he was, do you think he'll really be sitting his ass in that pocket, being lazy like that, or do you think he'll get out there and work for that money if he knew that his contract was gonna work? Matt Ryan works for his money. What's up with the Matt Ryan slander? Matt Ryan works for his. Matt Ryan is the most consistent player on this team. Oh, he's not Matt. He's not uh, Arthur oh, Blank's nephew. Oh, 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 hey, everybody! I don't know who told you that, but he's not his I've nephew. Been right? Matt, Matt, I've been watching Matt since he Matt been sitting in that corner for so long. He's just so tired I'm right now. I think he need to take a little while off and go sit on that bench no, and no, understand no, what no. his contract. Yes, understand the terms of his contract so he can get his ass up and work. Because otherwise, I don't see these. Falcons going to no Super Bowl no time soon with Matt oh, Ryan oh. as Can I ask you a question? Can we ask you oh. a question? Yes, sir. Oh, I want to ask you this. I want to ask you this question. I want to ask you this mm-hmm. question. Why? All right. Why? Why would you say that Matt Ryan needs to work harder when he's one of the greatest quarterbacks statistically, and he's broken almost every record that a quarterback can possibly break? He's pretty much break. He's on pace. Why? Why would you say that he needs to work harder? Why? Like, what is his game? That he needs to work. I don't take any of his credit away. It's just for the most. I'm just stating that he needs. I understand he needs a better defense team, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, his dis- defensive all, um, lineman or whatever. They need to be on point, but he needs he needs to get his ass out that corner. He needs to get out there and run that ball. I mean, I feel like the best quarterback I, 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 got a, I got a question. I got a question. A Michael Vick, we ain't had none better than Michael Vick. No. Hold on, 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 h
Can I say something? I know what she's saying say about something? Matt Ryan. Can I say something? Can I say no, something? Wait, 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 that was I know her she... opinion. Please, that's that was her opinion. opinion. No, I did it. That I did it. Wife. That I... is my wife, but that was her opinion. And I'm going to hear the rest of this for the rest of the night. But I had to let her get a taste of that. I had to let her get a taste of that. I, 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 no, I get it, I get it, and that's her opinion. I get it, but I, I got. That's her I, opinion. I, I, I want to. I get it, but I want. I got a question. Just excitement. I got a question. Michael Vick was just excitement. That's it. He was, but I got a question. Out of all the, out of all the NFL quarterbacks, I just like the fact that he worked. He worked. He got out there. He made the game. Look I hear you, Mike. Cool. He gave us a game to watch. I hate you, Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said Matt Michael Vick worked, but uh, this man didn't even yeah, know how to read his play call. I'm just saying. You know, he really worked. I, 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 I got a question, honestly. Out of all quarterbacks last year, I'm just talking about last year alone. Out of all the quarterbacks, what do you think Matt Ryan's best quarterback ranked was? Out of all of quarterbacks, what do you think Matt Ryan rank was last year out of all the quarterbacks as far as Efficiency and passing yards out of all the it had to be top five. It had to be top five. It had to be oh, top it five. It was. It was it only three. It was like you're right because it was only three. It was only three quarterbacks ahead of him. Yep, and and yeah, let me tell you the three quarterbacks: <laughs> Tom Brady, Pat Mahomes, and believe it or not, Deshaun Watson. Those are only three that was better than him last year. So I don't know what other work he needs to do if he's in if he's in the league that's right under those three. Exactly. What, what, what else do we need to do? Seven yard bootleg, and then as soon as you get sacked, so, you gotta do a quick spin. Like, he's done a great job since he's been there so far. I'm just saying, and just put a little heat on his pressure. And then, and, 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 and then when you think on, about on, it, man. and when y'all think about it, the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl against the Patriots, the Super Bowl against his, the Super Bowl against the Patriots was not his fault. Man, I'm just really like I, I can't even believe what just happened. <laughs> Mute yourself. How about that? Uh, I want to ask the question. I want I want to ask the question. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. So, so she said Matt Ryan doesn't really work. When you said Michael Vick did work, do you really mean that he ran the ball more than he threw it? Is that what you're talking about? So that's what it sounds like you're saying. He gave us a show to watch. And I'm I'm not taking uh, anything away from Matt. I'm not okay. taking anything away from oh, you. Want a, you want the flashy person. That's what you want. I get it. No, I, get I don't want no flashy person. It. I'm just saying. I get give, it. Me just saying want to sit, give me a reason to want to sit here and finish watching y'all lose. That's what I'm saying. No. No. That's what you just said. No. 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 It is what it is. It's about the W. <laughs> it's about the <laughs> All y'all like burn She said she don't give a damn about the quarterback as long as she in the tank. No, 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 did he just take a pay cut? Did he just take a pay cut? Yes, he did. Did he just take a pay cut? Thank you. Yeah. And they be, they getting ready to protect the quarterback. He ain't finna get hurt. And that's so not the first time. That's not the first time he took a pay cut either. Yeah. Last year. The first and I think the year before that, Matt Ryan. I think it's like he done it. He done it at least three. I think he done it at least three times this entire time. And he still get paid behind the table. 
Man, that man still playing up good numbers without a defense. Deshaun Watson is a fighter. Hey, 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 that's true. That's true. Deshaun, Deshaun, Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Watson is exciting, and nobody want to watch the Texans. <laughs> that's true. Hey. Uh, the show, hey, ain't nobody watch. watching the Texans. Matter of fact, the players don't even want to play for the Texans. He ain't never lie. He, he ain't don't. never lie. He don't. We got, um, we got two more see, people than this. It. This is hey, that was that was awesome. Awesome. I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm, oh, 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 I, got, I gotta go to work tomorrow, y'all. I, I just got okay. finished. Appreciate I just got, no, seriously, I just got finished putting my little video. I don't want to plug myself, that's not my place. No, I do my own, I do my own videos on Falcons, and um, also I do Georgia Southern football because I, I, I'm from Georgia, but I live in South Carolina now. But okay, that's that's my stuff. So, I, uh, my channel is first in frame rates, so you can go check that out. I just okay. did a video yeah. on the rookies mini camp, did a couple of visuals, and I gave my thoughts. But I'm going to get up out of here. I just subbed to the channel, man. Y'all guys are doing good work over here. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Say your uh, channel yeah. again. This um, is channel again. In Atlanta, man. First and Frank. I put it in the um chat. If Please put it in the chat. Okay. Uh, appreciate you. Chat. Yeah, we're going to check it out. And, um, we love y'all. We out. had fun, man. See y'all later. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. I got some, I got some right. balls to pick with you, woman. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See, I like you that. Right, it's got a little mix. It got the conversation going. It got everybody. But you cute, though. You cute, though. So I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going to start a little drama with y'all every day, so I'm going to pay attention every day so I can start a little drama with y'all. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. How cold is interesting. I tell you that. We need, we need, we need a little good, good little bit of laughs every now and then. Man, what have y'all done, man? We don't need no more fun. What have y'all done? I guess you got the one. I guess you got the one to the bedroom with her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's yeah, I, I put the link down. I don't know if it, I don't know if the link is working, but if it's there, y'all just go, just hit, just um, uh, Google or put in the search bar first and frame rates. So I should pop right on up. I'm gonna okay. go ahead and get up out of here, y'all. Cause I got, I got to drive to the 18 wheeler in the morning, man. I got, uh, I got to go. Yes, please be safe. Be safe. Right, be careful, man. Hey, man. Oh, be careful, man. Yeah. Driving, man. Don't don't do nothing crazy. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be on um, watching y'all, man. I'll be coming through every now and then. Y'all be blessed. Okay. Man. Thank you. All right, bro. You All right, later. Thank you, bro. And Eric, you yes, are going to get um exited. <laughs> new word. Uh, Thank you. No, nah, I'm gonna have to mute her. I've been evicted before, friend. It's okay. I like trouble. <laughs> yeah, she always get kicked out on on Sundays. On the fast Sunday, she get kicked out. She got to. <laughs> he begged me to watch the game when the Falcons play. He begged me to watch the game because guess what? They win. So ask okay. him. Okay. I be praying for him now. I talk so, a lot of mess, but I pray for him. So you can imagine how many games we won last year. So then watch a lot. We're going to bring on Tay. Um, I guess that's going to be it because the other person dropped off. So Tay, that's it. We got a lot of folks up on this thing. But, you know, okay. we do it for y'all. We do it for y'all. How you doing, Tay? Um, all right. Salute to y'all. Salute. Thank you. Yes, yeah, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're giving you the spotlight. It's your chance. It's your chance. What you got to say? I, I, I got a question for the, the lady up there. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, friend. Yeah, I, I got a, I got a question for you, man. It's a real serious question. <laughs> Come on. Because you you blew my mind with the Michael Vick one. Uh, <laughs> Michael Vick outworked Matt Ryan. Now. I don't know if I don't know if Mike remembers me. Me and Mike used to go back and forth uh back when when his channel was just popping, man. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let me let me see if you can remember when um it was the combine and we was arguing back and forth about uh it was something about like this uh his height. I don't know if you remember that, Mike. Who it, who exactly? It was about Matt Ryan's height. About it. Oh, yeah. I, I said he was six, six three. You said he was six four. <laughs> so shit like that. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, we're arguing about one <laughs> inch. Like, <okay. laughs> Technically, he's six four, but when he's when he's in a pocket with the cleats, so he's about six six, six five, six six. So it takes a lot. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah, back, yeah, back to you. Back to you, good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you how is how is Michael Dick outwork anybody when he admitted that he left his playbook in his trunk of his car? <laughs> hold up, hold up, man, you forgot. When, when Matt Ryan basically lived with his playbook every day. Yeah. The game was in his heart. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> no, the game was no, 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 no. I don't know about that. <laughs> no. if the, game, in his heart, if the game was in his heart, he would learn how to read his uh, yeah. plays. You're right about that. Yeah. I mean, and I don't take that from him because you know that was his mistake. You know, but for the most, I enjoy watching the game because he always did something that made us want to come back and watch the television. He always made us want to finish watching the game. It got to a point to where sometimes you look at the game, you're like, "Come on, now you! I know you can do better. I know you see him open. I know you see, you know, you can pass it to him or whatever." It's just always something with, you know, with with. With Vic or whatever, it was always you know where you can see him. He can make it. He can make it. Make the ball happen. He can make that play happen. And I appreciate it. As a lot of times he messed up really bad. But you know, it like with Vic. I'm saying with uh, Matt Ryan. Really with Matt Ryan, he just kind of he just it's like he's lagging in the pocket. He's not trying to move. He's stuck there. He's scared or something. I don't know what got him in right there, stuck right there in that little hole. But he just won't move. And it's like he's just. I don't know. I don't know what what uh 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 Arthur Blank is saying to him once he got off work or whatever. Three hundred pound guy trying to murder you. That's what. That's what he's saying. <laughs> exactly. Like, 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 basically, like crazy. basically, what she said is Matt Ryan bores her. That's basically what she said. Yeah. Ooh, that, for a certain extent, she I don't mean, get flashy. Like, yeah, you yeah, want yeah, that? Man, you know, that you know, too legit to quit. That's what she want. Well, you, you, she you want that? Much to say, but you gonna <laughs> sit there and keep your mouth closed. She. <laughs> she <Come on. laughs> ain't gonna protect you. She ain't gonna him, protect bro. you. He's no. not. He's not gonna say anything. But he knows that this feeling is mutual. He feels exactly the same way. No, 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 he he speaks on it, and he said it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But no. I just feel like, for one, he can do better, and I know he can. If he just knew that he that his contract was in jeopardy, like the rest of those players, he would get up out of that hole. That's just like safe as any one of us. Our job, we knew that our job was in jeopardy. You're gonna do better. You get what I'm saying? But if you didn't know that there was a, a, a issue with your job, or whatever, you're gonna keep doing the same thing that you've been doing for the whole time. Can and I say something? He's paid to be there. That's what I feel. So he if, if, if sport. somebody else messing up, what they got to do with him? What you mean? Like if they not blocking for him, how is that his fault? They ain't got nothing to do with him. I mean, that he needs some more blockers. I just said he needs some more help. On I the know defensive what I'm saying, line. but he is—he he needs the some best. more help on the defensive the line. I know that we discuss that every day, but it's just for the most part it's his job. He been right there. They you know don't y'all made him. this up. They don't trade all the players. They don't trade all the players out and all the coaches, and he's still right there. Still, still ain't going nowhere. So he's still doing the same thing. Maybe they're afraid. He's not doing it. This is definitely a way. You try to put it on me. Hey, hey, hey. No, she um uh... see he about to lose his falcon head, y'all. Homie, <laughs> <laughs> you might need to run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we going God, on man. two hours, y'all. We getting ready to wrap this up. So Tay, <laughs> I know you want, you know, you you uh my wife you the last the one. She did take <laughs> oh, yeah, my, I don't know if my mind was all messing up. I had to, I had to go in a better area. Just, you, you, know how, you know how it is. Yeah, it is. Go ahead, uh, uh, Tay. So, what you had to say? Yeah, hey, 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 Mike, man, I'm just wondering. That ain't no hard feelings, man. Hey, man, you hey, still man. my brother, man. You're you still my brother. Uh, uh, I talk a gang of shit. All right, I talk a gang of shit. All right, if y'all can take my shit, Tommy, you got my respect. That's all I got to say about it. Hey, oh, yeah. hey, man, yeah, we, we, got, we got to have a show about that, man, because me and you are like, like, straight, man, about that same topic, man. Hey, hey, Eric. Hey, 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 you might mute yourself when y'all talking. You know what Mike ain't telling y'all? Mike, Mike blocked me. That, that's how oh. bad it was. That's how bad it was. 
Did. I did. You know how many people block? I get, I, look, I get called every name. And, 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 no, no, no. I, I, was, I was probably the first person you blocked, though, man. Because you was like, man, I, I don't want to hear this shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> Mike is, Mike is probably lethal. Mike got damn bad. Hey, Mike, hey, Mike, hey, Mike, hey, Mike, hey, Mike, hey, Mike we, you got to bring me on one day so we can tell the story, man. Because this shit, hey, man, it's still on Twitter. It's, it's probably that. still, it's probably still on your shit, man. Hey, because hey, Mike, Mike, hey, like, 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 out of the, like, the fourth day, Mike was like, I don't want to hear this shit no more. I can't talk no more. This problem before I got to Mike. Mike used to fly off at the mouth for real, for real. He did. Oh, hey, hey, man. Hey, Mike, I still I still didn't stop listening to your family, man. I hey, man, it's all good, man. Like I said, man, I get I get death threats. I get I get threats all the time. So, it's, hey, join the club, bro. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey how's, it, how's it still all good? You still got me blocked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he probably blocked you as the guy. You know how many people don't mic don't block? <laughs> Bro, hey, no, like, hey, man, man, hey, man, I'm a diehard Falcon fan, man. And just, hey, don't get it wrong, man. I was one, I, hey, stall me out, man. I, I was one of the ones that, that was rooting for my good, uh, for uh, Matt Ryan to get his ass out of there. But, you know, I, got, I had to change the heart because I had to look at a lot of things and a lot of pieces moved around. So I, I get it now. It, it took some convincing. But I get it. I, I really get it now. And, and I'm I'm a roll with Matt Ryan, man. I'm gonna give him another chance. I'm gonna give him another chance. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm look, gonna, I'm, you can admit that. Hey Mike, for you, I'm gonna give him another chance, family. I'm gonna give him another chance. Hey man, look, that's hey, that's that's what we do, man. We try to give everybody the opportunity to see everything for what it is, the truth, the facts. That's what we come with, man. That's 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 our motto. The fastest stats in the truth. Nothing more than that. Hey, but I, I'm, I'm gonna give you my three people, man. I think it's gonna probably gonna be a problem, man. Yes, sir. Of course, you know, of course, Pitt, Pitts is gonna be a problem, no doubt. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna tell you, man, the two sleepers, man. That boy from Michigan, the uh, the tackle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think he. Mayfield. I think he. I think he might beat him out, man. I think oh, he yeah. might beat him out for that right tackle position. And that undrafted free agent, that running back, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Javion Hawkins, boy. Boy, man. That, I, 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 man, I looked up some tape on that boy. <laughs> like he said. Hey, speak up, man. I, I you, you, that dude, you give him a shot, man. He's going to be a problem, man. He's going to be a problem. I call, I call him Ward Dunn. I call him Ward Dunn 2.0. Uh, and, and you know what? That's what that running style reminds me of. That that shiftiness he be doing, man. He's shifty right. as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we we miss that. We miss it. You remember he used to be worn down with the strings, the, uh, the screams and everything. Man, mm-hmm. we need to get back. We need to get back to that, man. We need to get back. Man, you know one thing that really plagued Matt Bryant is his checkdowns. When it was, he said instead of just chucking them, he never used none of his checkdowns when he was with that bummy ass damn coordinator. I'm even gonna mention his name. I'm not mentioning his name. <laughs> yeah, we don't get no more. I've got mention nicknames for them. <laughs> but if you notice, man, he had no checkdowns in his system, man. And that's important, man, when ain't nothing there. Because half the time you ain't gonna have that chance to get your get hit your top receivers. So you need that check down. I didn't see no mm-hmm. check downs last year. If I did, I yep. missed them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, but you no, do you know right. also with a run, with a run game, you know Matt Ryan is basically the best play action quarterback it is, bro. Like uh, no doubt with that play action, it's it, it's over with when he got that when he could use that play action. But see, but see only mm-hmm. thing I say the reason why I say that we needed to move for Matt Ryan not this year but next year is because simple fact I don't want to get put in the play where. We're searching for a carousel quarterback because we see how that that looks with other teams, and I don't want us to get caught in that carousel to the point we start waging damn picks and shit, and and that that's where that's where it really hurts your franchise. Yeah. But mm-hmm. yeah, but the thing but, you know, is, but I, I get it. I get it though. I get it now. I'm seeing. I'm seeing everything. I see the mold. I see. I see the the hands moving things together. I'm seeing, I'm liking what I'm seeing, even though it's early, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. 
I like the the uh, the wide receiver. He's the dark horse of probably. I think it's gonna be between him and Gage. Um, I can't think of his name. I think Darby is his name. Mm-hmm. Frank Darby. Yeah, I think I think him and Gage might have a little nice little battle there. I see a lot of competition. That's competition. what I see. That's what I see. I'm excited about the safeties. That's what I'm excited about. Man, you know what? I'm, I'm, not even excited about it. I'm not even excited about the safeties because I already know what they're going to bring, man. Boy, that dude. Man, I saw the uh, – I don't know if it was a match. I can't wait to see that matchup between uh, – between um, into, um, damn, what was his name? Richie and um, and um, Pitts. I want to see that matchup. They got to they gotta yeah, show that matchup one more time. I want to see that mm-hmm. matchup, boy. <laughs> That's going to be a battle right there because mm-hmm. there's two aggressive-ass players. And that's what mm-hmm. I want to see right there. Because, mm-hmm. you know, he's he going to have his hands full when he have Julio out there. He's going to have his hands full. But I want to see those two. I want to see rookie and rookie and see what they bring on that field. But I hurt one another. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, this is what we're gonna do, y'all. We're gonna um we're gonna start from um I guess the guests from the top. So Eric, on over. We're gonna get y'all let y'all get y'all last little moment in. You know, you can promote yourself or whatever you want. Your last thing you want to say about these Falcons, then we're gonna go ahead and hop on off. Mm-hmm. Um, so starting with Eric, what you got to say? Then we'll you know right next to him and we'll keep going. So I just want to thank everybody and my wife. <laughs> for just having a great night on the great chat. And um man, I really I really do appreciate y'all, man. I really do because it really when nobody like Buddy was saying earlier, it really ain't nobody that's to cover Atlanta sports like that, man. And y'all really just took off with this, man. I'm talking about I really do appreciate y'all. I really do. Keep doing what y'all doing and I'm gonna keep supporting whatever y'all got going on, man. I know Let me Mike, ask you a question. Where are you from? Where you what, from where, let everybody know everybody where y'all from? So you from Atlanta, okay? Me okay. and my wife from Atlanta, right here in Zone baby. Three, Grady Baby. Oh, Grady Baby, that's <laughs> right. right, that's right. Now you get no a one wonder. up for that one. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> I'm a Grady Baby. Hey. What are you trying to say? Yeah, hey, Zone, 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 zone Three up in here, you know where it is. Zone Three. All right. All right. Pittsburgh from all the way through, man. Hey, hey y'all yeah. from, okay, okay. okay. Good. Good. But we on the west side <laughs> right now. We we on okay. bank here right now. Hey. But, um, but man, I just wanted to let y'all know that, man. I know Mike, I be following you when you be on the um the, with the UK guys and when you okay. had the interview. Man, he ain't lying, Mike, because you part of my family. I don't even know you, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. I appreciate that. I'll just wish you, though, bro. You just, let's, just, you, if you don't never see my name on, the, I, I, I'm with y'all for real. Whatever y'all got, oh, I'm with you. Thank you. Thank you. We just need you, man. And my thoughts on the fact, my fault. My thoughts on the fact, we're going to go 13 and 4. And we're gonna go oh. to the uh, we're gonna go to the, the, the division oh, cup now. What it, what it is the the uh, NFC conference, and we ain't gonna go to the Super Bowl this year, but next year, watch, watch out for us. Believe me. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. I like it. Okay. I like it. I like it. Okay. I just want to say thank y'all for letting me come on y'all show and be messy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I got hey, to hey, 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 you. Hey, you were strong. You were strong with it. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm about to say that's why this is Friday Night Madness. Anything can damn happen. We appreciate it. This fun free Friday, boo. Yeah, I'm, on right. third, I'm on my third <laughs> one right now, so we good. Oh, I got one. I gotta play catch up, bro. Bring me one. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to roll up after this. I ain't gonna play. You're welcome. Already got that. Okay, she's so cool. Tay, what you got? What you got? Hey, well, I, hey, I, I want to appreciate. I appreciate y'all much, man, because you know, we don't never get no love, man. We don't yeah. never get no love, and that you know that, that man, it's always been like that for us, man. It's always been like that. It, you know what? Even if we would have won a damn Super Bowl, we still would have got shit at all. Oh, yeah. Because that's, it would have been. We we, you said something right there because it would have been um the Patriots or whatever had a bad game. That's what it would have yeah. been. We, we, man, we can never get a damn break, man. But you know what? Who gives a shit? Because as long as we that's have right. us, that's all that matters. Shit. I don't give a that's damn. That's right. 
Shoot. But hey, one thing, man. Hey, hey, Mike, man. I, you know, I was rocking with you when the day when you was doing your shit on the balcony, brother. <laughs> See, we don't make the free to fan of you a long, long way. <laughs> I never this word, but I'm blocked. What you sipping on? <laughs> hey, so you. Hey, uh oh, turn up. I go way back with you, brother. I go way back with you, brother. All right, you know, appreciate I was, you. I was, I, was, I, was wait, I was waiting for you to drop that stream, y'all, man. It's like, come up here and holler at you. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, I'm gonna see you ass at the game one day. <laughs> oh yeah, I oh, believe that. Believe that. Oh, for believe sure, that. man. We we go we go chop it up, brother. Real talk, man. Hey, man, but you gotta it. unblock me, man. Man, come on, man. Yeah, unblock this man. Unblock this man. <laughs> What's the name? What's the name? Hey, hey, hey man, Jagus, man. J J A G U S, man. Jagus, man. <laughs> right, what look, you got, L S? Yeah, man, yeah. He's going to find you and unblock you. Stall, stall me out, man. <laughs> what you got, LS? Your last little, little thought. This done turned into a whole different show. Hey, man. Hey, 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 I liked it. You feel me? I liked it. It felt like the club in here. You feel me? Like, I wouldn't even want to do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just a few minutes yeah. ago. But that's what I whoa, love to do on Sundays, whoa, man. That's whoa. what I love to do football yeah. Sundays. Go to the bar. Y'all need to slow, y'all need to slow down. <laughs> What's up? But yeah, though, man, I'm gonna tell you something, man. Um, I appreciate y'all, man. It, it, it really y'all that got doing make it make the off season interesting, man. And y'all keep that shit 100. Y'all don't bandwagon. Y'all don't, you know, yeah, what I'm saying y'all don't jump on nobody nuts. Y'all don't switch it up like the other platform, you know what I'm saying? Because when we got Kyle Pierce, everybody changed their tone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Act like they, they, like they, they, like they ain't never knocked down Matt Ryan. You feel me? Like, I, ain't ain't gonna, gonna, I was one of them, fam. Here I we go again. <laughs> I can admit that. God damn. Can, hey, hey, I'm a Cuban man at the day. I'm a man at the end of the day. I can admit it. I was one of them. Yeah. <laughs> But I ain't gonna lie, man. I feel like we gonna run, we gonna run through it this year, man. Like I, Good night, I'm Clay Mel- in, the, in, the, in the coaches, man. The offensive line coach. I was so happy to hear about the offensive line and defensive line coach, though. I, I can't even. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like to winning the tears. Uh, y- y'all remember? Y'all seen uh, when they talked about uh, the defensive lineman, the uh, the coach. Is this the real? That he coach. Yes, it is real. What what you on, Jay? What you on, Jay? Well, I mean, because I got it's like a communication problem right here. I'm, no, I'm, you have yeah. issues. No, oh, okay. No, 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 it ain't that. You drinking? <laughs> no, yeah, it ain't even that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Right no, now, whoa, 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 whoa. I love Arthur. Arthur whoa, 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 whoa. With the team, man. I love no, that, it's man. Just, I love seeing that. I hear everybody talking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we all talking. But it's it's crazy. Okay, <laughs> it's crazy. What you got to say, man? But how, what you got? We gonna give you the, a spotlight. What you got? All right, man? all right. So okay, so here we go. You're going. All right, so here we go. K style, K style. What's that? K style. What's that? All right, check this out. So I'm gonna get my five minutes of fame right here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> But I, I love you, dog. I love you. But you know in Atlanta, that shit too hot to be wearing. <laughs> but check this out. But look, I love you. I love you. I'm a, I'm a, that I'm moonshine a, fry. But, I'm a, but, <laughs> but I feel like you're afraid to show your dome. Show the dome. I want to see the dome. Man, he sound like he ripping, man. He ripping on you. Yeah. All right, now check this out. Now check this out. Boy, this you, boy, yo, Abby, on this thing. On this thing. I'm going to talk about it. There you go, right there. Oh, hey, hey, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 we're about to cut this off, y'all. We're about to get up out of here. Yes, right, I'm, 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 I got something better. I'm going to come back another day. I'm going to come back another day. I got something better than this. I got something better than this. I'm going to come back another day. Okay. Okay. 
That boy feel good. <laughs> what are we doing? I can't, I can't, I can't do it, family. I can't do it. <laughs> that bootleg looking. That bootleg looking. I'm right about there. to go that do what <laughs> Boy, that boy drinking that wave over there, boy. That's it. <laughs> that, 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 we sorry, oh, people. We sorry, people. Uh, oh, you want to get this going? You back. Go ahead and get your last word. Get your last hey, words, and then we cut it off. Woo. That boy's name was lit. But I just want to say, man, this right here feel good, man. Just like everybody else say, man, I appreciate y'all putting this content up for us every day, every hour, every week, man. Square well, business, man. Yeah, because guess what? Doing what y'all doing, man. Square yeah, business, man. don't give us no love. Um, 98 and 92, the game don't give us no kind of love. So we're going to keep doing this as long as y'all watching And they us. in Georgia. I'm in Texas, and I get more yeah, content exactly. from y'all than I do anybody else. Absolutely. Shout out to Texas, homie. Shout out to Texas, man. My family from Texas. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Shout, shout, out, shout out to Port Texas, man. Port hey, Texas. girl, you can uh, find me on Instagram or something because uh, we need a chit chat. <laughs> <laughs> you let me know, girl. Yeah. Where are you? Let me get my phone, girl. Let me get my phone. Let me get my phone. Miss Maggie, my wife said she finna follow her, man. Yeah, I'm the Georgia I'm bread, I'm Texas raised, man. Up. Georgia boys like swine. Yeah, come on, Fred L. Texas swine. Okay, hey, what's hey, your hey, Instagram hey, or Twitter hey, or whatever? We, 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 oh, got, oh. we got to do our part too, man. Hold on, wait. One minute, friend. Man. Real talk, okay. man. We, we do got to We got to do our part, man, because that's the only way, you know, since we're going to get people to listen and learn, man, what we're trying to do over here, man. You know, because, <laughs> man, I believe, man, we do got some undercover, some undercover Falcon feds. Yes. Just, uh, no, don't put it in the bush. What, is, what is it, Miss Maggie? I'm um I'm M S Maggie T, now um Instagram. Yeah, you you hear me, Mike? We got some we got, we got some undercover. So M S Maggie man. T. They, they they peeking right now until they until we win and then they then they, they stick their head out the bushes. S oh we know oh, oh we know some uh, as undercover as fans. As Atlanta sports fans, we see it in all the sports mm -hmm. every year. So you got I just hit you, Miss Maggie. Man. Hey, got you right hey, there. Hey, got you. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. you. I run into him all the time. Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I see it at work all the time. You see, don't you don't start air. Man, don't, don't make me no, sick of your Y'all started that. Y'all started that. Y'all started that. I'm a, I'm a Matt Ryan Falcon fan, man. I don't know what she did. Where have you? She gonna get right because we friends now. How about that? Yo, thank, thank, you. You. Please, thank you. Please, please. Show the routes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank so, you, Georgia Texas. Y'all think y'all gonna bring in any more free agents? I'm sick of y'all. Um, I, I don't think we do any think more so. free agents. I think, <laughs> I think, think we're done. I think we're done. <laughs> hey, 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 before you go, hey, K, man, hey, you ain't the only one of Georgia Tech, man. I, I, uh -oh. I stand with you, brother. I stand with hey, you, brother. Hey, but thank you. Oh, man. Here we go. Thank you. Hey, man. Hey, 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 it's hey, 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 it's hey, 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 I got I got four words for everybody. Oh Lord. Pick up the pieces. <laughs> 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 we out. We out. We out. All right, y'all.